Hey everyone, welcome to our final session for UK Games Ex Expo Online, also known as Virtually Expo. Uh, this is our session of Mork Borg, uh, which is just, uh, just a phenomenal book. If you haven't already picked it up, you should definitely take a look. Uh, it is uh, more, it's like an OSR dark death punk RPG. Uh, it's really, really just a beautiful, beautiful book. It's more of an art, it's almost like an art piece as well as an RPG. Uh, so if you haven't picked this up, you definitely should. And right now you can pick up, uh, you can pick up uh, this book off of free league, uh, dot, free league publishing .com, And uh, you can use the uh, discount code UKGE uh, to get 10% off your purchase at checkout. Uh, you can throw all of the, uh, the items on there are, uh, def are uh, ten percent off, so definitely uh, when you use that code, so definitely load up the shopping cart, check out, get, get yourself a little discount, and uh, you can uh, get uh, get yourself a copy of Mork Borg. Uh, so yeah, before we start, there's a couple things that I would ask you to do. One is I would ask you to hit that like button down below if you're a fan of uh, Mork Borg, and also if you uh, are uh, just tuning in for the first time or, or yeah just enjoy actual play content, please hit the the subscribe button down below and also hit that little bell notification that'll let you know whenever we go live, uh, either here or we're also on uh, VCG, uh, which is the the, uh, the uh, show that, that I produce uh, on my own. I also do uh, pr production for uh, Free League Publishing. So we're simulcasting on both those platforms. So I'm really excited to uh, put the content out on both. Now, now that I'm done, this is actually the first session that I'm actually going to be able to play as well as produce. So uh, I'm really excited to bring on uh, the players and include myself rather than uh, rather than take myself off screen like I have been. All right, let's uh, let's bring our GM on for this session, Mitchell. Mitchell, thank you so much for uh, for GMing today. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. I'm glad that you'll be in this game because I missed you yesterday during Alien. I, well, that's all right. Uh, you know, we had a we had a celebrity guest uh, by the name of uh, Drew Mitchell. Gaska. A, oh, oh, oh that's well, yeah, right. I mean, and Mitchell, of course. Yeah, and Mitchell, yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. Um, so, uh, so you know, I, I I was glad that I could be behind the scenes and watch uh, Dr watch Drew die gloriously <laughs> multiple Triple times ass. in that uh, in that actual play. Uh, let's add the other. Uh, Folks, onto the screen. We've got some wonderful. We've got a wonderful cast. Look at some some familiar faces and and someone that I'm really excited to be playing with. I'm always excited to play with everybody, but I'm really excited to be playing with this one person for the first time. And that, of course, is Matt from the Effect Podcast. Hello, hello, Matt, hello, everybody. Thank My you. First welcome time on your podcast. Hello. I'm so excited. I I'm. Uh, I, I, I can't wait to uh, to to do this. Uh, that's good. I, I'm I'm just typing in the name of my okay. character. Sure, uh, sure. So uh, forgive my forgive my. Uh, I'm very excited to do this. This is the first time I've played Merc Borgia. Yeah. I've um, I've GM'd it. A lot. We we did the very first actual play of Merc wow. Borgia yeah, actually okay. wow. on the Effect uh, YouTube stream right at the beginning of lockdown. It was a game that I've been planning on playing in my local, uh, uh, friendly local gaming store, and it closed. Um, uh -huh. yeah. So we moved online and took advantage of having all the players online by making them into internet superstars. Um, <laughs> our most popular video so far, Mork Boy, yeah? I have to say. Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Mork Borg. <laughs> and, of course, we have uh, Amanda Call from Age of Night. Amanda, thank Hello. you so much for giving your time. Yes, thank, thank you so much for having me. Josh from Halloweenville, you saw him yesterday on the uh, Alien actual play. <laughs> Eaten by rats. Thanks, thanks so much for for coming on. Yeah, Anytime. yeah. The, the other half of uh, Effect Podcast uh, let you get devoured, let you get get devoured by uh, by rats uh, yesterday, which was fun to see. Yeah, that's why you can't, can't see our lower halves. <laughs> what, yeah. what was what was that, Matt? They were big alien rats, I hope. They, they were, they were. Okay. They were big mutant alien rats, which was, they were uh, just DC rats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that whole scenario, you could have just switched out to Washington DC and we did. <laughs> and then last from but not least, of course, Ian from Freakopolis Geekery. Yes indeed. Thank you for having me, Doug. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? We did an actual play of this uh, a few weeks ago, and people were clamoring and saying they wanted more Ian on uh, more Quarg <laughs> actual plays. So, Norat I'm, was a, a fun character. He met a timely demise, I'd say. <laughs> so, uh, is this our first time, like, player to player, Doug? Is this I, our first time playing together? <laughs> It might be. I think so. It might be. Oh, that's so fun! I'm glad to be uh, glad to have the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, oh, you guys when, were in. You guys were in Beach Patrol together. Oh yeah. Beach oh, that's Patrol right. We were. Yeah. <laughs> see what see what happens is I only bring in really great RPG players when I play. So then that way they overshadow what I <laughs> how I horribly play. So oh, that, that's that's my secret of this channel. So, all right, at this point, I'm just going to hand everything over to Mitchell. It's his show here. Oh, oops, I'm throwing it to the wrong side. There you go. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Already starting to regret things. <laughs> My mouth is on it. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, yeah, so we're hopping into the epic lands of Mulkbulk, the apocalyptic, destructive, dark place uh, and we're just going to rip right into it because I have a goal and I aim to keep it. You guys have been traveling towards this dark castle, the lightning coming down, kind of raining in this dark woods when you are attacked. These vines of tree bark, these limbs ripping out of the ground and racing towards you. Um, I mean... You could just think of Evil Dead to kind of look at that, uh, the camera coming towards you, uh, mm. quick like. So, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna hop into initiative. No, <laughs> hop into initiative. Oh, geez. What? What? <laughs> what? Are, what? Are we we just in, got in, here. Yeah, you guys just got here. So, initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, natural one. <laughs> I rolled a six. Three. Oh, this is all. This is all. Both Matthew, well. you're muted. <laughs> yeah. What so initiative. I've just forgotten. Yeah. So we're we're gonna do the uh, the simplified. So uh, with Ian rolling first, uh, one through three, the enemies get cool. to go first. Um, I just like to see everyone else roll in hopes that something <laughs> better might happen. Um, yeah. So it's my turn. So, Lampert, since you were the one who kind of brought us to this situation, uh, we are going to, why don't you describe your character and how you were going to attempt to dodge these uh, tree-like bark vines, which are racing towards you, seeking uh, your ears and trying to rip your head apart. So, yeah. so, Lambert is a heretical priest of, well, a very rotund stature. And he defends himself with a staff, with a bit of a, a crooked end. It appears as a shepherd's staff. And he's led a life of misery, his robes. Once purple and grand are now dirtied and tattered by the road, and his many jowls are filthy. He raises his staff to defend himself, and I suppose he'll try and step to the side despite his overwhelming size. <laughs> Excellent. All right, roll agility to try to dodge. Okay. <laughs> A two minus one. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't want to live. <laughs> oh, take four damage, my Oof. friend. Oh. Ow. Lambert is badly hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the the vines have reached out and they're 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 trying to to get into your ears and you're you're just kinda like smacking off and they've cut part of your face off. Uh, blood pooling down on the ground around you. Um, all right, so I have two more uh, little guys uh, who are going to try to do something. Uh, Doug, because I love you incredibly, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce your character and how you're going to try to defend these horrific, horrific vines? Um, <clears throat> I'm the creator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
No, I'm just gonna roll Damn. damage. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's I've been working. I've been working on this voice all afternoon. I that's love it. <laughs> I, I I was raised by rats, and um, you know, I just have all these tattoos all over my body. <laughs> And I reach down and I grab my sling and I swing it around and I try to hit the vines before they hit me. Okay, Wrap it well, up. Yeah, roll, roll that agility. And... Oh, that's a 20. Oh, snap! <laughs> With your grossness uh and the slingshots uh yeah you smack both branches uh, away uh leaving yourself triumphant what's kind of your triumphant look it's it's like yes yes <laughs> <laughs> someone clip that all right, uh, and uh, finally for my last one, uh, Matthew, why don't you go ahead and introduce your character and what you're trying to do. You're muted, by the way. I'm Makari. I uh, fell for my mother's womb as she was hung. Uh, I'm lazy and bitter, starved, gaunt, and pale. I'm an insecure shit stirrer as well. I'll talk about whoever just left the room, but I am tough. So I'm gonna strike out with my short sword. And, oh, but I fail. I get eight plus one nine. Oh man. <clears throat> All right, you take six damage. What? I said I was tough. Art hardly scratches me. <laughs> the vines turned just... me into a splatter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's your turn. You guys can uh, decide amongst yourselves who goes first, but I suggest that Josh and Amanda definitely are one of the first two up so that we can see what their characters are up to, and they haven't had such a rough time as some of you guys have. Um, Amanda, you may go first. Sure. All right. I'm playing Daru. I, I am a esoteric hermit and an initiate of the Invisible College. The stars, they tell me things. Uh, however, I am very small and weak, and this mm. looks very dangerous, and I do not like this one bit. Uh, I think I'm going to start backing away as much as possible and stick my small dog on them. <laughs> I have a very small, vicious dog. Like a chihuahua? It looks, it looks kind of like a toad with a chihuahua face. Yes. And I'm just going to go, go, get get the vines. Get the vines. <laughs> it listens right. to me, but literally no one else. <laughs> Uh, so my small, my small dog. Let's see if my small dog can to attack. Uh, my small dog rolled an eight. Uh, that is not enough, unfortunately. So he just yaps and snaps at the little <laughs> vines and doesn't do any good whatsoever. While I just yeah. keep on backing away, going, "Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no!" Oh. Well, the dog yaps and even picks up picks up a bit of Lampert, which has fallen to the the ground, and it's like, put that down, get the vines, put it down, oh! pop that. <laughs> what is in your mouth? <laughs> it's like blood everywhere, <laughs> bits of his cheek falling out. Uh, You're going to spoil your supper. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, Josh, go ahead. All right, I have brought back Ervorg uh, <laughs> because he survived the last encounter, so he is back. Uh, if none of you remember who he is, he's the herb master 
and he's wonderful and powerful, but he, uh, some say he has a substance abuse problem. <laughs> Don't know what they're talking about. And I, I will sniff uh, this wonderful powder uh, using my hip, hippos inviter, invarating snuff. Uh, what? Okay, what? which, what? yeah. He does not have a substance abuse problem. No, not at all. Uh, so this will give me two attacks against the vines for this Ooh, round. Nice. And here we go. I'm using my short sword to slice through because, you know, they're vines. You got to use something sharp. Uh, so a seven is not going to hit. Nope. And an 18. That hits. All right. Uh, two damage. <laughs> All right. You chip off a couple of the little bark as it falls to the ground. Um, what's surprising about this is when you kind of slice into <laughs> the wood, there's almost like this... Uh, yellow amber, uh, which is dripping from the wounds onto the ground, and it sizzles the uh, the leaves, and then starts catching on fire. So now you have like this little fire growing oh, wow. uh, right before you, no. Urvorg. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let the fire do all the. Well, hmm, if it's leaking <laughs> fire. <laughs> so. Lambert, <laughs> Lambert, with half a face, <laughs> is being assaulted and is stumbling about the dirt path, trying to tear away these grasping vines about his face, probably with little effect. <laughs> Desperately, he's going to reach for one of the two scrolls he brought with him, one of which is an unclean scroll, and one of which is a sacred scroll. But I'll roll a d20 for a 50-50 chance as to which he grabs because, oh my goodness, he's under attack by his face. So let's see what happens. <laughs> a four. <I'll> s <laughs> That's the unclean scroll. And so a four on the unclean scroll table. What effect is that? Uh, <laughs> We actually should have probably had it ready for the quick reference, right? You're looking at the scroll like, what the? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's the instructions? Uh, no, legitimately. Uh, we did say so. Does anyone have it? Uh, let me see. If I Mine might. disappeared. I had to delete it for to get stability here. I don't think it's good. <laughs> 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 oh man, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna make something up for you since I sure. can't find it. Sure, yeah, no, it's fine. This, this is gonna be good. Let, let's do a uh, whatever dice that you have. We'll we'll call even. Something great happens. Odd. Something happens to Doug or Kratar. <laughs> odd. <laughs> uh, oh geez. So uh, with an odd, what's what's gonna go down? <laughs> Something happens uh, to Kratar, I believe is what I said. Though I never, yeah. I never remember what I what I what I uh, put for <laughs> evens or odds. Like every time, I feel like that's something everyone does. Uh, mm. All right, cool. So uh, you read out this uh, this scroll, and immediately the the filth, which you now realize is probably feces uh, written onto this scroll, starts to dribble down into the ground. And before you, there is this dark object, which looks very much like Lampert. Um, his eyes, though, are just kind of like these pale white, uh, and his teeth are dripping this black and brown substance which kind of drips onto the floor uh along with your blood which kind of mingles and coagulates kind of hardening on the the ground uh it looks at you and it's like oh, lampert what shall i do my teeth <laughs> thirst for kratar by the gods <laughs> by me 
<laughs> Help me with these vines first. Okay, then afterwards I will kill Krata. <laughs> and we'll grab onto the vine. So why don't you give me a uh, D20 test? 14. All right, sweet. Yeah, it's kind of like... <laughs> ripping it out of your ears. Uh, I looked you are... the scroll. Not huh? good. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> a B. We'll give right. it a B. <laughs> Yeah, and you're getting like like the whatever's dribbling from his teeth is definitely like flinging onto that bare spot of skin and has like this little tingling sensation if you've ever had like kind of like a green green tea mask or, or you know something like rejuvenating of the the skin. It's kind of like that feeling, but on your bare we're flesh. Learning about we're learning about Mitchell's skincare routine now. <laughs> 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 Always raise prepared. your hand. Um, raise your hand right. if you've actually ever done a green tea skin mask party. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> Next convention, we are going to a spa. We are we're putting some stuff I'm on down. our eyes. We're, we're doing it. Let, Finally, like, wide-eyed Lambert gives out a I probably deserve this. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kratar and uh, Makari, uh, who would like to go next as you guys see this insanity happening? So since you guys last acted, uh, a chihuahua ate a piece of your friend's face, uh, which was on the ground. Uh, fire has erupted from the leaves. There is now a... Uh, I don't know what you would call uh, evil Lampert, good Lampert, other Lampert, uh, helping normal Lampert uh, with the vines. Um, so yeah, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? Are, are we just? Do we have any specific thing that we're supposed to be like? Are we just all together in this forest? Or yeah, yeah, you're all together on this forest. Uh, you you're being attacked by vines. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll let you decide what to what to do there. All right. Um, <laughs> you also have an evil Lampart uh, asking to kill Kratar later on. Um, Seems I'm reasonable gonna, to me. I'm I'm going to uh, sneak up behind uh, the evil Kratar mm -hmm. and um, try to. Uh, oh, do I? I don't have a. I don't have any. Uh, I, I was gonna like stab him in the back, but I don't have any. Uh, I don't have a, a knife or anything. Um, what, what I'm going to take. Have? A, I'm going to take my sling and like try to strangle it so that because I know that it's going to be uh, <laughs> going to be coming after me next. I love Mork Bork. All right, go ahead and hit that. <laughs> oh, that's a one. <laughs> Oh man, crit fail. That, that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, all right, awesome. Uh, so as you're you're strangling this, why don't you go ahead and, and give me uh, a damage? Uh, we'll we'll call it a D four for strangling. Uh, okay. For this instance, that's a three. All right, cool. Lampert, uh, you're going to take one damage uh, ah. as you feel something <laughs> choking your throat. Uh, and, and Kratar, you're, you're kind of pulling on that evil Lampert, but it just feels like yeah. it's squishy. His neck is squishy and it smells like something foul. Uh, and it just starts to sink into his throat. And you see that kind of black and brown ooze kind of gushing forth from his neck, uh, getting onto <laughs> Lampert. And then he also feels that choking. I say, this Lampert smells <coughs> better than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Makari. Yeah, I'm 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 liking the look of this actually. I'm not daft. I can see weakness, and the weakness is in Lambert. Um <laughs> so I am going to stab evil Lambert, knowing that good Lambert will take the damage. <laughs> and this is exactly why I was so excited to have Matthew on the show. <laughs> In my community, an honest day's work was never an option. Not that I ever tried. Uh, with my short sword again, um, and uh, 
13 plus 1, 14. All right, that hits. Doing 1d4. <laughs> Three points of damage. <laughs> All right, Lampert, you take one point of damage. And that kills me. <laughs> <laughs> so I drop the zero HP. As Lampert, feeling these psychic stabs, begins to stumble back to the ground, his great girthy form slams into the dust with a, you've probably done the world a favor. <laughs> Yeah, and that, that short sword just kind of opens up a fountain of this black and brown material shooting up into the sky uh, and onto everyone. Uh, kind of just... Uh, cleaner than I've been in many a while. <laughs> uh, so everyone sees that the vines, now that there's like a dead corpse around, are, are starting to just kind of crawl over uh to lampert now obviously um he is broken and there is a d4 roll to see if he can survive but my real question is it looks like the vines are giving you an opportunity to leave do so you I've, al I've, oh. I've already started running away <laughs> uh did did you grab the dog I, the dog will come i'm just come on come mm -hmm. come there's more okay. than enough. Okay. Just didn't know if you need more me than to enough Lambert hey, to, uh, to distract these vines. So it's what we call the peasants' code: run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man! Um, <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm tempted to run away, but uh, given that the vines aren't here yet, can I just rifle through Lambert's um, pockets? <laughs> yes, oh, you can. Oh, yeah. Good value. <laughs> <laughs> I do have um, I, like that. I, I I have a filthy fi fingersmith talent, and I'm stealthy as well. You should have just ended with I have a filthy finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do that too. But, uh, I, I I make a D8 agility test. Dr8. See what I can find. And I get fourteen. No modifier. Fourteen. Perfect. All right, Lampert. What do you got to offer? So, you would find, as Lampert draws his last breaths on the ground there, that within his pockets, uh, within one, you would find a sizable pouch of silver, which implies that Lampert uh, certainly took more than his fair cut from his... Uh, uh, don't care, the, don't care, yeah, yeah. Uh, However, potentially more valuable is the sacred scroll in a uh, fine wooden tube. Mm. Pocket that. Oh, sack it. <laughs> what a big sack in my sack. <laughs> yeah, what did, did you get? What did, what did you get? Mercati. Mercati. Mercari. What Mercari? What did you? What did you get out of that body? Hmm? What, mm. what did you get I, there? I take that purse of silver, and I throw it towards the vines and say, "All of this," and then I make my escape. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lampert, go ahead and roll a d4. I want to see <laughs> if you actually get sweet release or will your final moments be filled with pain and torture? A two. <laughs> roll a d6 for me now. Jeez. Um. A two. All right, sweet. Uh, your leg just kind of the first thing they grab is your leg, and it just wrenches it from your bones and skin as it pulls it down into the dirt. So, everyone else, as they are running, looks back and sees that Lampert no longer has both of his legs uh, as the vines slowly start to crawl and take him piece by piece into the ground, keeping him alive the whole time as you guys hear the screaming uh, of Lampert in the distance. His boots weren't my size anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, do you have your second character prepared? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad Lampert died. He, he honestly deserved it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now I have uh, Lockfoot. Uh, another gutterborn scum because I like playing them, although probably quite a bit more tidy looking uh, than Kratar. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, will I, uh, am I just found on the path? Oh, sorry. 
Mountain Am I just found on the path? We will introduce you soon, and I'm sure okay. Doug will change that name because <laughs> Lampart is no more, is it, and his name it, has been Lock- Lockfoot. Yeah, Lockfoot. Right. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, in uh, your desperate flee uh, from the forest, heading towards that large castle in the distance, seeking righteousness or victory in your final days. You still hear the vines kind of creeping behind, always that that groaning of trees and that movement through the wind. When you come right out of the tree line, you see a nice, small little village, quaint and beautiful. Um, It kind of has a very serene look to it. And despite it being dark and rainy, as you kind of burst from the, the tree line, you notice that there's a slight little bit of sun uh, kind of creeping up over the horizon. Mm. It is no longer raining, and there are some flowers in the meadow there. Oh, I will pick so the flowers. <laughs> this yeah. place looks lovely... right for plunder. Uh, do these flowers, uh, do they seem to have any herbal properties? Roll a d20 for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a six. <laughs> um, what's your favorite substance to abuse? Uh, probably this. Probably oh. the snuff. Yeah. Like, as you, it, it's kind of like this. Um, oh, man, you know that flower with like the little leaves on it that kind of float about when that little ball you blow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's the, like the that. marigold. Yeah, yeah, it's the marigold, except like as you sniff, you you realize it smells just like your favorite substance. Ah, wonderful. And then I sneeze. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's like this white powder explodes from this flower and like just gets everywhere. Oh, Oh. I'm in heaven. I'm I'm just in ecstasy, like rolling around in this little patch of flowers. (laughs) Just oh god, it's, it's so good. It's going to take a long time to get anywhere if you're rolling on the ground. Oh, let me let me just just give you another minute. Just just one minute. Come on. Oh, it's so good. Here, here we'll take some with us, and I'll I'll just like put some in my little pouch. On. <laughs> yeah, Lockfoot, you see this from your vantage point. You are in one of the huts. You had come here the night before seeking refuge uh, during these dark, dark times. It's a quaint little village, but you've been left alone for most of the time. But here are these four strangers covered in what you can only imagine to be feces and a little bit of blood. And there's a chihuahua still eating part of a face. Well... Uh, Lockfoot is uh, a quaint little fellow and light on his feet, uh, but he begins making his way on up to the party, and uh, with his hands on his hips, he addresses them with the sun beaming behind his head, and he goes, uh, What the hell are you doing? This this place was all nice and tidy before you got here. I enjoyed the, the sunset. I was enjoying the flowers and, and the screams of the heretical priests in the woods. Those are all kind things that I've come to enjoy oh, here. I've oh, been please. enjoying the flowers too, my friend. They are so wonderful. <laughs> I, I can tell. Here, here, here. Here. I, I, here, you want one? That's all right. I've been forewarned that they, they cause horrible <laughs> disease. <laughs> what, what did you just we leave? Just left- the woods, there are terrible vines that should tear us apart. They succeeded in tearing one of us. But my dog is eating what's left of his face. Well, I'm I'm grateful for your honesty. Uh, I think pretty much everyone around here knows about the vines, hopefully. So uh, maybe, oh, we, maybe didn't, we can... Or, oh, we did Or else we wouldn't have gone through there. Tough luck. Tough luck on your part. Mm-hmm. So what's, what's the end goal for you? Uh, uh, and oh, by the way, the name and with a small bow, yes, is Lockfoot, and I am particularly keen with locks, unsurprisingly. Hmm. <laughs> <That's laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, the, the classic gutterborn. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don't touch <Cool>. it. 
Uh, surprisingly, from behind Lockfoot, uh, with the stealthing capabilities of a shadow, you see a tall man rise from behind him, uh, about twice the height of Lockfoot. Very thin, slender arms and legs, uh, with a lovely, uh, kind of patched up hat, uh, that covers one of his eyes, uh, which is a nice particular green. His teeth are nice, perfect, and white as he looks down at each of you guys stroking his beard. <laughs> Welcome to the town. I always like to see visitors, and I can tell you that Lockfoot here has been a lovely visitor, a man of manners, elegance, and a slight mm -hmm. scent about him that is quite captivating. Mm. <laughs> Don't think in manners here. <laughs> Sorry to say. Seems a bit hoity toity for faith. Well, hoity like... toity. Mm. <laughs> we don't use such language here, but we will forgive you. Uh, listen, listen, friends, you're, you're only just staying for a little while, right? Just passing on through. Right. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> kind of a wink, wink, <laughs> nod, nod. I, I don't know. If you get more fields of flowers like these, I might stay here for a while. <laughs> you should. The world is ending, and there's really no better place to be than here. Uh, yes, your place seems to be very clean and, and lustrous. Are there any uh, terrible monsters waiting to tear us apart there? No. The only thing you need fear, fair person, is your own dreams and nightmares. The regret that kind of slips into your lips uh, and oh, chokes you in the middle I, of the night. Oh, I have problems with that already. I, oh. what, what? <laughs> it's just a figure of speech. <laughs> what do you, oh, yeah, okay. Don't, don't take it literally. But... Well, what I, I meant to I say is look on the bright side really. of Sagan. Uh, look on the bright side of the world really? ending. No, no, no. You <laughs> all must be confused. Now, I assure you that right here and right now, we are having a festival with several of the lovely pies that our village specializes in. And we would like for you all to attend. Would you be so kind as to follow me? I can provide for you a place to lay your head soft in golden pillows. Pies, you say? I like pies. pies. What's Who in the pies? like a good pie? A symmetrical force. Perfect. With a little crust, oh. right? And you, when biting into it, your teeth slipping into the crust, that little flakiness. One of my favorite parts is that little explosion of liquid, that flavor which drains into your mouth, filling you with desire, taste. I think this guy likes pies. <laughs> Fruit pies. <laughs> or meat Fruit. pies. Fruit pies, meat pies. You are right. We have it all and everything in between. I assure you, you're going to find this place to be the end game. Of sorts. What do you want in return for your pies? Well, money, of course. Nothing is free. And maybe, maybe we can add your names to the town's charter. Keep you here for some time as you learn to love this place as I have. I've learned there's no such thing as love. Kratar, did you pick up any of that silver? <clears throat> um, no. <laughs> what? You threw it at the trees. I wasn't like going back you. there to get the trees. Those trees, you see what they did to our last, uh, uh, that other guy? I wasn't going to go near that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to have to work to earn the money to buy the pies. Why do I have to work? Because I don't work. <laughs> Maybe I'll make the pies. <laughs> oh. Is Here, there a laboratory you need to make in pies town? for you? We have many. Many places. laboratories, I say. Why don't you follow me and I will 
I'm going to show you Please. where you can rest. Um, I have a slight headache, and I think part of it is that one of your in companions here I find slightly disgusting. And <laughs> I think you'll find Only us one? all slightly disgusting. Only one. Here is a place that we, we prize in terms of <laughs> honesty. And with that honesty in mind, good sir, as he looks over at Kratar, there's nothing more that would please me than to see you hung up, split and quartered, my good sir. Oh. Yeah, he's a very dishonest person, is Kratar. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Great honesty. We're, we're all just... Completely open with each other. That's that's the idea here. And as we begin to shuffle off, uh, Lockfoot will... He doesn't exactly trust the look of uh, Mercari or Kratar. Uh, and Dervarg is uh, kind of loopy. Yes. <laughs> so he'll slip beside Deru, who appears to be the most level-headed of, of the current party. And, uh, I'm at least covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> with a quick whisper, he goes, uh, there's something awfully wrong with this place. I'm getting that impression. Have you been here long? Not long enough, I have the feeling. But as I look around, the more I see, the more I hear, the stranger things are becoming. And this pie deal is, uh, I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. Mm. I, I am a bit hungry. But oh, aren't we all? <laughs> I don't I'm not know. denying the pies. I'm, I'm going for the pies. <laughs> Something does seem a little bit strange here. Mm. Just keep your eye out, and I will too. And, well, we'll see how long this lasts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He leads you down the, the village, um, which kind of comes up to this uh, nice little yellow road. Uh, kind of cobblestone together on either side are perfectly symmetrical little huts, uh, smoke rising from each one. And the smell of delicious sweets and salts, baked goods, uh, fills the air. People of all sorts stare at each one of you, um, kind of smiling, each one waving. Uh, and finally, this gentleman comes to this nice little tavern, two-story, uh, quaint little place. Um, the first thing you see when you enter in is that there's a lovely um, piece of art, which is just this place from the outside with the lovely sun uh, just over around. There is a very tall and jolly woman behind a table uh, she is currently slushing about with her hands in some sort of stew maybe beef stew um that is filled with heat and you kind of see the ripples just over the the gravy of it as she looks up oh hi you finally come down huh i knew that there were newcomers here but i didn't think that they'd be like you how did what you know did you that we're, like? we were coming? Oh, one at a time, please. Uh, this place, uh, where it travels fast. Hey? Right. And and what is that you're making there for us tonight? I uh, saw a wee bit of uh, beef stew. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. You see, what I've found is that, honestly, for something to be filled with your love, you kind of have to get into it yourself. You can't use a wooden spoon, as such a, a, uh, other people will try to do. You kind of use your fingers. It's tantalizingly good. Mm. Would you like to stick your finger in it right now? I will. I think, uh, Hmm. I, yeah. I'll stick my finger right in it. Yeah. Kind of plop it in. There's a burning sensation, but kind of flopping <laughs> it out, a little bit of beef and gravy, kind of. Uh, and it's almost like if you've ever put your finger in, like, wax, it almost starts solidifying over your finger immediately when you come out, and you kind of... Mm. 
It's salty and sweet. Mm. Did, did Why, that, that's quite good. That's probably the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> oh. Did, oh, that's good. That's good. I, 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 bomb. <laughs> the best thing you'd ever had. Mm. Mm. Ah, you mind if I stick it in again? Oh, no. You can only put your finger in it once, love. Oh, but that other finger, that's yeah. something new. Go ahead, put it in. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no no double dipping. I get it. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh, man, I taste good. <laughs> oh, wow. glad, glad to see there's at least some degree of <laughs> civility around here. <laughs> Can't allow for the oh. double dip even at the end of the world, right? <laughs> this place is fantastic. I'm telling you, flowers and... And soup and wonderful hospitality. <laughs> There's no yeah. really place that you you'd rather be than than here. Uh, but let me uh, uh, you see. The town mayor has brought you in. Um, as you look around, the the tall man is no longer here, uh, just gone. Um, and you guys are here alone with this woman. Uh, she kind of scratches under her chin. I think we have rooms up above. Yeah, sure. Come on. Follow me. Oh, that'd be lovely. She takes like a large set of keys from in the kind of between her bosom and starts kind of waddling up the stairwell. Um, yeah. Is there a bath? Oh, of course. I can prepare a bath for you. I just have to take some time to get the water. I assume you would like it uh, hot and warm? I always like it hot. Mm, but, me um, too. I'm covered in feces. <laughs> it's well, not how I normally dress. We've all been there, I assure you. We've all had I'm our just, down days. I'm thinking of your sheets mainly. Mm. Well, we greatly appreciate that. That sort of compassion and foresight. I think you'll be a lovely member to this lovely little town. Mm. No one's ever called me lovely before. <laughs> it's all, uh, what is it? Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as they say. What's a beholder? <laughs> it's it's that it. little empty space right behind your eye. The little place where all the veins and such connect up to your brain, I think. Come yeah, that, that's what they call it. <laughs> Chris Hara, who, uh, as, as we're making our way up, uh, I suppose, to see these rooms, uh, Lockfoot will make his way over to Kritar for a moment. <laughs> because Kritar, uh, you, you and I, I, I think we have a similar upbringing. We've seen a lot of hardship in our time. Uh, have you ever spent the night in a place like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is for for people much less hard than, than, <coughs> than us. <coughs> yes, right, ex exactly, which... Isn't there something kind of suspicious about this place? A little bit. Uh, Ma'am, and I'll, I'll call forward to the, the woman showing us to our rooms. Hi. You, what's the mayor like? What, what is this town? Does it, have a, does it have a name? Do people call it anything? It all just uh, seems kind of out of place. Not really. It's just kind of, I feel like once you name a town, it becomes all official. And right now, it's much more like a family. Right. Right. So I guess you could just call it the town. It's the town. Sure. The town. <laughs> All right. All right. No, I'll take it for now. Uh, which room can I have? Oh, well, first, I think there is a, a desire to, to have the bath. If you come mm. down into this room, we have a large pot prepared for, for each one of you. Uh, a nice little bit of fire underneath it. Uh, nice warm as well as some lavender and vines and such like that. <coughs> really quick. The back part of you. Uh, really dig in there. That sounds lovely. Doesn't it? One for each of us. Of in course. the same room. Yes. What if I'm a modest woman? Well... Here, <laughs> truth, much like anything else, it's really the ability to be vulnerable. 
And if you would like to stay here, all that we ask is that you are able to feel comfortable in your own skin in front of each other. I think that's a that's a fair compromise, especially if I'm not asking for you to pay for this lovely inn. What do I? You're not asking to pay. Oh no, I never mentioned it. The mayor said we'd be paying for the pies. Oh, the pies, yes, the pies, but not, not for... sleep. Yes. <laughs> what what if I don't want to take a bath? What what if I think I smell? Oh, I smell great. I don't need to don't. take a bath. You don't though. You don't smell great. He smells okay because he's not covered in shit like I am. Well, whenever oh, there is, whenever there is a disagreement on the perception of maybe how you smell, view, or really any sort of thoughts, there is often a uh, a town uh, discussion, and then there's a vote. Uh, whatever comes out on that becomes truth. So, Qatar, if you would like to um, figure out the truth of it, I assure you we can find out. A vote, huh? <coughs> I don't need a town to tell me how I smell. I smell great. <laughs> uh, you're, no. you're traveling hermit here. She seems to... Well... Uh, she seems to have some sort of wisdom about her, right? I mean, maybe. Well, I'm gonna give the bath a go. So far, mm -hmm. so far, so good. <laughs> That's why we like sleep, you. If you want to sleep alone outside, Kratar, then you don't have to take a bath. Yes, Kratar, I, I, you have two choices in front of you. You can go take a bath, or you can, well, I guess we'll figure out the truth of it and let things be. It's up to you, Qatar. I'm not taking a stinking <laughs> bath. <coughs> Excellent. I'll inform everyone that there'll be a vote then. <laughs> a vote? Yes. A vote? Yes, the truth is put into question. And the town What's must dictate what the truth is. A vote is when each and every individual casts their opinion and the majority gets to solidify that opinion as fact. You mean the majority define the crack? Yes. I don't know. Sounds... Um... Strength defines opinion. Sneakiness <clears throat> defines opinion. Um, something else defines opinion. <laughs> Running away <laughs> defines opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Quickness yeah. defines opinion. We have your bath repaired. I have some work to do. Please. Hmm. I'm going for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I am stripping my clothes off, revealing my very just... thin and bony body. <laughs> How is it every time I play this, someone gets angry? <laughs> this is just going to happen. Yeah, I think it's in the rules. <laughs> I think so. Uh... <laughs> I, I will go over, and the first thing I'll do is kind of take my finger and swirl it and then taste it. Yeah, if you've Tasting ever been... Water? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some people sell that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially, uh, you know, if Kratar were to get in, you know, that would be, like, some seriously strong, <laughs> potent stuff. <laughs> uh, if you've ever been to a melting pot, you know, it's kind of like that, that brew, that heated water of various herbs and such like that. Uh, okay. So in your particular one, there's a little bit of lemongrass uh, as well as salt, uh, some brown sugar melted in, uh, and a slight bit of milk. I, I don't know whether I want to bathe in it or eat it. A hard thing. Mm. Why not do both? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to eat it after I've been in it. <laughs> 
Lockfoot will make his way to the edge of uh, his bath and uh, kind of peer over it and uh, look within. What, what's what's he got floating around in there? <laughs> yeah, so several carrots, as well as what looks like some brown speckles on the top, as well as some glitter. Hmm. Hmm. An interesting amount of food stuff in these baths. <laughs> but glitter. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> you also get glitter. Uh, what's in Daru's tub? <laughs> <laughs> Daru uh, has several what looks like uh, kind of chives, uh, as well as uh, mm-hmm. kind of like the uh, the green onions, uh, not cut up, but just kind of long. Mm-hmm. So that's very that's a very pungent bath. But all right, sounds good. <laughs> exactly. Who's gotten in their baths? Because Lockfoot has. I'm uh, going to get in the bath. Okay, day I'm ready for bath. Oh, This I, is very I, relaxing, even if it smells very oniony. Yeah, really soupy. I uh, I can't it's seem kind of to bring myself to get in it. I, I don't want to ruin the stew. <laughs> We've got uh, a bath each, have we not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm Except washing my clothes in my car. Doesn't have one. That's smart. Wash the clothes instead of your body. Uh, Dar- uh, Daru, is your dog in the in the pot with you? Yes, my little my little dog is. Uh, it's very small, so I don't want to like sit it down and have it drown. So I'm just kind of like holding it tucked under one arm yeah. while I'm relaxing on the edge of the bath. It- you, you uh, can still it's still like chewing on something and when it opens its mouth you see bits <laughs> of like the flesh sticking to the top and bottom of the mouth we could have washed that out no no uh, I'll no, go over to, to hers cavities. as as she's soaking in it I'll go over to hers and kind of swirl my finger in there and I'll taste that one the mm. darus yeah it's like it, it looks like something mm. that would pair nicely with like potatoes you know Oh, like a little... potatoes! Can it, I'll what? run out of the room and? Uh, and you're, are the... you are you still like have your clothes on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never took them off. I, I just say uh, I holler down. You got any potatoes? Oh, we will. Don't worry. Uh, currently uh, getting in that town meeting. Uh, they'll be here soon to discuss uh, your companion. Excellent, yeah. Uh, as many potatoes as you can gather, that'd be great. And I'll go back in, and then I will. Uh, I see Makari washing her clothes in it, and I'm like, yeah, nope. Uh, Kratar, I assume you're just like, no, uh, uh-uh, uh, I ain't getting in there. I'm just sitting on the floor. So I, I do want to taste his because he hasn't gotten in it yet. It, so there were only uh, the four. Despite her saying that there was one oh. for Krekar too, but when you guys open the door, there's only the four. Oh, hmm. this so is... Lockfoot's in the other one. He did. He didn't seem too dirty. I'll stick my finger in his and taste it. Oh man, it's like a cupcake. You know, the the top like part of the Real cupcake. Real sweet. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, not for dessert. You. No herb dessert herb label. Look, you, you have you have the appetizer, you have the main course, and dessert. Oh, there is a little bit and, of that, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you taste awfully sweet. I mean, this this stuff tastes awfully sweet. Not not you particularly. Well, I don't know. Can I can I chew on your finger? No. Get, you stay away. Your your mind right, well, has been addled by the puffballs. Well, oh, well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, let's give it about twenty minutes, and maybe you'll change your mind. Hmm. Uh, can I stoke the fire underneath? L- <laughs> let me get that. Let me get that nice and hot for you. How's that? <laughs> and I- I'll stoke it. Try to get that fire nice and hot. Well, I mean, that's that's better than than just lazing Sorry. about like like her tar over there. Yeah, it's starting to bubble up. <laughs> yeah, I like uh. Daru, uh, you, you want me to heat yours up too? Do you see any soap anywhere? Uh, soap, soap. Um, I'm looking for like a big chunk of of something in one of these vats, you know. Yeah, uh, like 
the the moment you kind of start thinking about it, you notice that off to the side on one of the uh, so it, this whole place is kind of laid out like a uh, a sauna, except that it has like the little I'm not going to call them cooking pots, but we'll call them like tubs uh, yeah. for individuals that in the is. center. So you have like the little like uh, very damp places to sit, um, the remnants of someone's butt uh, still kind of wet on several parts of it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, in one of there, there's a nice little basket uh, with a cloth set over it. Uh, and if you kind of just pull that cloth uh, aside, there are these nice and wonderful animal shaped uh, soaps. Oh, I'll uh, pick up one of those and, and bring it over to Daru and chuck it at her and then begin to stoke her fire. Ah. Oh, no, it's just warm enough. Thank you. What what kind of animal? <laughs> it is a penguin. <laughs> she has a penguin soup. <laughs> nice. Hey. All right. Where is our where is our our hostess? She she was actually kind of nice. <laughs> Appear from beyond the tub. <laughs> Yeah, the door is still open, um, and last you heard, she was downstairs, uh, kind of gathering the people. Uh, Daru, as you are, I assume, cleansing yourself of the impurities of your flesh via the soap. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> I'm feeling very refreshed now. Give me a, a strength test. So it begins. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so it is a strange thing watching as as you guys all see her start to to scrub down, and it's almost like she's rubbing sandpaper on her flesh as bits of skin start to kind of fold off and and flop into the uh, the tub like a cheese grater. Uh, ah, so Daru, ah. you take one damage. Um, ah, oh, I only, I only have oof. one hit point. I'm very frail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't you do a d4 and we'll see what happens to you. Oh, no. I got a one. All right, you fall unconscious for one, one, one roll, one more d4. I immediately pass out into the tub of water. That can't end poorly. <laughs> this, oh, time I rolled a, this time I rolled a four. Ooh, all right. So you'll be unconscious for four rounds, and you'll awaken with uh, four hit points. Which is I'm more shocked. than I normally have. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so I'm just, just, just here. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, as, as she slumps down, is there a stick or a giant spoon in here? Someone save my dog. A paddle? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm panicking because uh, if, if she's done this to herself, what are my clothes like? I pull them out of the tub. Are they are they, are they holes still, or have I rubbed uh, uh, great swathes of holes in them? I yeah, mean, um, imagine. The I've got. Imagine what your clothes looked like when they were first knitted together, and they look like that. They are pristine, clean, whole, beautiful, gorgeous. And surprisingly neatly folded. Hmm. Oh. And Vor, you do find um, uh, like several back scratchers uh, kind of off to the side. Okay. Uh, I will begin to stir the pot with Daru in it. And as the dog's like paddling around, I'll just kind of like make it go a little bit faster, creating like a little <laughs> whirlpool to suck it down in. <laughs> I'm not. I'm <laughs> drowning it. Monster. <laughs> now I will sample it. Does it taste any different? Is it getting more uh, stronger flavor now that her blood and flesh is oh, <laughs> yeah, into yeah. it? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. kind of like, uh, you know, a nice rare filet mignon. You know, kind of oh. a little bit of that blood, that oh. nice salty sweetness, that, that squishiness, the, the butter aftertaste. Oh, oh, it's so good. Guys, guys, you got to come over here and try some of this. 
something. Um, yeah. I, so I don't have to hang my clothes up to dry. They've come out of the water, dry, warm, repaired, and folded. Yeah. <laughs> You're a new man, uh, and Daru, woman. you wake up, woman. Uh, I will, um, I will go over to this other pot since he says it tastes good. Um, what happened to Daru? She was in here. Uh, oh, she's in there. I'm she a little baby to... now. What? Yeah, no. I'm, ju I'm just, I'm just stirring it so that you know it circulates and, and all the stuff doesn't sit in one spot. You know. You don't want that stuff to settle because then it could stagnate. But she's under the water. Yeah, it's fine. She's fine. I, I, I push my hand in and sort of see if I can feel any lumps of uh, meat, dog, or deru. <laughs> and um, <laughs> see if I can fish them out. I'm expecting her to be a little baby, like my clothes, <laughs> being, as you. So yeah, I mean, Daru... Daru has regained consciousness. Uh, she, uh. She's <laughs> just I'll clean. put her out of the water then. What shape is she? I <laughs> 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 like, grabbed Daru out. Uh, ah. uh, she's What's... clean, pristine, but What's not not on? a little baby. Not a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a bit longer. I think, I I think I'm done in the no, no, I think I'm I think I'm done in the bath now. I'm getting out. Yeah, speaking of which, upon witnessing Ervorg uh <laughs> just whirlpool this this puppy, Lockfoot's gonna be thinking, he could do that to me at any time. <laughs> I'm I'm oh, totally defenseless in here. And he oh, oh dude, don't worry. Darus are out, so you know the the that just takes away from the flavor. So I gotta come to you. Uh, <laughs> He's uh, to the other side. I, uh, <laughs> I I go over and and I grab a soap and hand it to Lockfoot and Lockfoot here. Try try some of this wonderful soap. I've seen what happens with the soap. I ain't getting yeah, rid of my it, skin. It, I like my skin. <laughs> this is why not. Cra what car have you seen? It'll my be dog? it'll be fine. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Your dog? Um, Has anyone hmm. seen my dog? Hmm. Um, <laughs> not recently. What are you doing? <laughs> um, don't don't worry. Everything's fine. Uh, Lockfoot. You, so the soap here. I'm I'm not taking that soap. I'm actually. You know what? The bath was nice, but this is starting to devolve into something. Too strange for me. And he's going to kind of squirm on out of the bath, uh, water dripping off of him. And he's going to go kind of like scampering over for his stuff. Uh, and he uh, I'm looking draws a short him. sword uh, holding Has it close to his chest. Has he grown into a little baby at all? I he has not grown the into a... was below the water. Yeah, he has not grown into a little baby. He just looks <laughs> nice and clean. Not even a tiny little baby. Not even a tiny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You all have... You, you've... Everything was nice here, and now things are going downhill. I can tell uh, you. Uh, lo Lockfoot, you seem to uh, take one of the carrots out with you. Can you throw <laughs> that back in? It's like stuck in between your toe. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's stuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm still sitting on the floor, like off to the side, and I'm just. I'm just kind of and <clears throat> picking my teeth, and <laughs> I'm just. Not in my head and smiling and knowing that I made the right decision and all these fools are just. And if Lockfoot's out, I'm going to go back over to uh, the the Daru's old bath because I know there's still some um, fresh meat in there and uh, continue to stir. And every now and then, you know, as the whirlpool goes down, I see the little head of the dog kind of pop up and bob. <gasps> right. It, it may it might yip. <laughs> and then go blah, 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 blah. <gasps> no oh, I want oh. to try to rescue my dog yeah you can you can pick your your dog up from the, the little hot tub and as you do it opens its eyes and it's like pitch black as it's looking at you oh, rough, rough. poor baby rough, all right I, rough. 
I throw what I happened? throw the spoon and like this the soups are ruined. Desserts ruined. It's all, it's all ruined. I uh Lockfoot honestly uh is up to his wits and he's going to sprint downstairs uh screaming uh that these people don't belong here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you 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 come out and you notice that there are about thirty people mm-hmm. outside, uh, and there there's like this little platform. Um, and, and yeah, he'll he'll point behind him and go, "These outsiders, they are they are here to ruin this. They are insane. We we have to get rid of them." You feel a delicate, long, slendered, fingered uh, <laughs> hand, kind of comfort you by placing its weight upon your shoulder, Lockfoot. Um, the mayor kind of drips down to your ear. Thank you, Lockfoot, for letting us know. We yeah. are going to deal with Kratar, I think, is how he has chosen to be named. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I've, I've always got the town in mind. <laughs> As Lockfoot completely uh, throws himself to that end of the scales, you know? Yeah. And, like, you, you feel the hand kind of petting your hair. <laughs> like... <laughs> Lockfoot, you have done your family here proud. Your wife and children love you dearly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, let's, let's get rid of these unbelievers. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, for those upstairs... Uh, <laughs> You see yes. two bald men uh, kind of waddle in, uh, each one kind of bumping into each other, uh, their bare chest uh, just kind of bouncing along as they come into the hot tub sauna area, and each one looks at Kratar. I've been getting my clothes on in this time. Yeah, you look <laughs> fabulous. Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, presumably, I put yeah. something back on, uh, you know. And your chihuahua is just kind of perched on your head, gazing out. Is there uh, anything that might resemble a potato peeler in here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that and leave and head out and uh, start like looking for somebody and ask where the potatoes are. Excellent. Yeah. So you come downstairs and you notice the crowd. Uh, Kratar, how do you respond to these two who are gazing at you? Each one kind of uh, in one hand for each of them. There's like this wire that extends from one of the guards to the other. Very thin and slight as they gaze at you. I'm I'm I don't get up. I'm still I just I just look at them. I look up at them. I'm like. Are you here to make me take a bath? No, it's time for the truth to be known. Come downstairs. <laughs> um, I speak to Deru, just quietly. You remember Ervog told us that story of how uh, he was the only survivor of uh, a party of adventurers. As we walked yeah. into the forest. <laughs> is it, I suppose, do you yeah. suppose, is it because he ate them all? <laughs> oh. oh, I am so he writing that down in case anything. I survive. <laughs> he didn't I have mention gone anything cannibal. about eating them all, but I suppose it could have been. He seemed to, he seemed to take a... Um, shall we say, a particular culinary interest in our bath water. Not mine, of course, because mine was full of feces, but uh, mm-hmm. everybody else's. He did seem to keep on adding mm. stuff to my bath. It was very strange. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm ignoring the guards and crater, by the way. <laughs> Just... Yeah. I'm just like, not going that's there. a problem for another day. <laughs> more more worried that's about me problem. and my uh, cannibalistic intentions. <laughs> <laughs> However, that's, that's the he, had, 
he had just been rolling around in those flowers. Maybe he's hallucinating and he thought we were giant chickens. <laughs> chickens it rubs said. the salt on its skin. <laughs> 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 If he's not feeling well, chicken soup is quite delicious. And restorative. Mm -hmm. People soup. You hear in the distance a shrill think... lock foot cry. <laughs> you have to answer for what you've done! <laughs> what is all the sh shouting about? <laughs> These people are monsters! Uh, lock foot, lock foot. Uh... Uh, uh, Mayor, uh, ooh, where are these potatoes at? I was told there. I was told there's taters for the soup and nothing. Urgvag, trust me when I say that when it is time to eat, you will eat. Ah, build the anticipation. You have to tantalize it, touch it, uh, grace it with your presence before you engulf it. Oh, you're talking my language now. <sighs> Does he still have his? Hands on top of my head. He's <laughs> like the whole time, just, just petty. Lockfoot is just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so at this point, I I have uh, I have a sacred scroll in, mm -hmm. in my uh, my in my carry, and um, I would like to use it. <laughs> do it. Um, what, what do is I? It, is it wrapped in the one in, in the same way that the, the one I stole? Probably, yes. Mm. So you roll presents. Okay. And then a uh, D10 to figure out which what happens. That's another 20. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Doug's on right. fire. fire. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you roll 2D10. And you can choose uh, the highest. or mm. Okay. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Best. Where is my D10? It's right there. That's a 7. Excellent. I had the list here because I was looking at them. That's nice, um, good. That's full thorn or knight's yeah. chariot. <laughs> Light or pitch black for three D ten minutes. Yes. Yeah. Which I, do you prefer? I would like it to be pitch black. All right. So we can. So I can get <gasps> the heck out of here. Oh. <laughs> yep. So you guys. Oh, I don't you, like this. You guys see uh, Kratar start to. Uh, grossly read from this scroll and the light there's kind of like this slurping sound of <laughs> as the light just kind of gets sucked into the the scroll engulfing Daru Makari uh, in this room in pitch black as well as Kratar and these two twins it's um, bedtime already <laughs> I don't Kratar, want it to be bedtime I'm going to find you <laughs> in the darkness you feel uh, hands start to move about looking for Kratar no no I'm not Kratar I'm gonna try to start feeling my way out of the room mm, uh, yeah. I, I make a beeline for where I <laughs> think the, the door whoop, 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 the door is she's gonna uh, run through the darkness full just gonna try to couldn't go yeah. early <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Kratar and Daru, you guys make it out uh, where the darkness kind of ends and there's some light trickling in from the outside world <gasps> just on the top of the staircase. Oh, good. and you it's still not hear bedtime yet. Yeah, you still hear the, the two and just kind of from the deep. Hello, Kratar. We <laughs> smell you. <laughs> what are the folks downstairs doing at this point? Are they are they gathering for a inquisition? Just, oh, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the, the the captain just kind of the mayor just kind of continues to pet you, uh, Lockfoot, as you're standing there. Your wife kind of takes your hand and uh, lovingly leans her head upon thine shoulder. Uh, your two <laughs> kids uh, run up and hold your your legs mm -hmm. uh and as you look at them you you realize they don't really have faces they're just kind of looking at you um these faceless mm. things that's that's all right this is better than it's been for me in a long time <laughs> <laughs> you get petted <laughs> you don't have that pet. wife and family i i didn't think that i'd achieve this but 
<laughs> Look at that demonic presence up there. Look at the darkness. We got to destroy these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, your wife looks like she wants to say something as much as a faceless creature can and you just kind of hear like a uh, I suppose I'll, I'll have my short sword at the ready uh, and looking out for when Kritar the troublemaker <laughs> comes running down the stairs uh, I, I need like a delivery service but instead of food they just bring like a head pat and just like <laughs> Just go <laughs> your head for a little bit. <laughs> we got a head padding ordered from Mitchell uh, for, for, for Ian. It's going to be here for five minutes. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so, Kratar, uh, Daru, what are you up to? I'm I'm going down the stairs. Mm, yes, Excellent. I would like to get away from, from the darkness. Yeah. It looks like coming downstairs that there's the front door mm -hmm. and commotion outside uh-huh some petting light petting happening uh <laughs> and maybe through the kitchen there's light. a back door oh, i think maybe we should go that way i am still rather hungry though do you think in dinner's off um so i'm I, I i missed that part can you say it again yes. I'm still rather hungry. Do you think this means dinner is off? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm pr I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's let's go out the back. I, I bet they're waiting for us in <coughs> in the in the front. <coughs> oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go this way. So I guess we're running out the back door. Or sneak yeah. sneaking? Are we sneaking? Are we running? What's the, what's the approach? I'm, Are you I'm sneaking running. or running? Oh, running. okay. Then I'm I'm <laughs> scrambling to keep up. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, much like that. All right, you guys run to the back. Macari, what are you up to? I'm still in the room with the twins. They're moving about looking for yeah. Uh, Kratar. Every now and then, you feel like one of their little fingers, probably a pinky, uh, grace your forehead. I'm quite <laughs> stealthy. So I will try and um, avoid their grasp while staying in the comforting dark. Excellent. Roll that agility. And that is a 10, which with my stealthiness is all I need. Excellent. Yeah. They, I mean, you kind of get close to them every now and then, but yeah, their, their pinkies are searching for something else, it feels like. <laughs> what about Urvog? Urvog. Um, well, see, seeing Lockfoot take out his sword, I'm, I'm a bit uh, interesting. Uh, Lockfoot, I thought these were your people. Well, the, these it, these people. The, the wait, isn't that your wife and kid? What? The, the oh, no yeah, faces. These, these people around me, right? The sword is for for the non-believers, the the crazies who came into town. Oh, oh yeah, those those vile non-believers. <laughs> ah, and I take out my short sword and I'm with you, brother. <laughs> yes, this place is great. They make the best damn soup there is. I'm somewhat convinced, but that that lady, the the hermit one, and the one who refused to bath. Vengeance must be wrought upon him. <laughs> you Vengeance. Can Banish the stink. Lockfoot uh, has quickly leaned into uh, what he thinks is his best chance at survival. <laughs> yeah, my favorite, my my favorite thing is always seeing how people react to cults. It's just yeah. like, I'm a part of this now. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Uh, so speaking of which, uh, we we know uh, Mercari is evading the twins. Uh, Irvarg Irvarg uh, is with me, uh, and then we have Kratar and Deiru sprinting for the back door. Uh, but I have light feet. <laughs> I'm, I'm tiny. I, I I can't run very fast, and so I I look to Irvarg and the mayor, and I go, uh, "You gotta stop him." You have that, I, that pet on your head. 
I, I like it because you're right below me, so I can actually like. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Move your head up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh <Perfect>. man! Right. <laughs> How are we going to get them? Uh, well, we can't get them just standing here. And I I'll hand you some off. rope. Oh, you're going to hand me some rope? Yes. I, <laughs> all right. I got sword in one hand. I got rope in the other hand. And I take off towards uh, probably I wouldn't know that they went out the back. So I'd rush into the tavern. Hmm. Excellent. Lockfoot, are you following? Yeah, yeah. I'll try right. and keep up. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Now you, you right, we're, back in. We're, where do we think they went? There's not many options. <laughs> I know. Where are we yeah. going? Yeah, that the way. Above. And I point wherever the closest door is and, and run in. The back door. You okay. run out to the back door and you see Kratar and Daru. Are you guys heading towards the <laughs> woods or... I don't know where are we going. I was just trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get through. Like I'm trying to get out of town, not towards the woods that we were just in. Hopefully, on another Those side. Those were of the, bad. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you look around, desperately trying to find your way out, you realize that this town is a little, little Eden, a garden of of conform conformity. Conformity? Conformity. Uh, and, and elegance surrounded by these dark and harsh woods. It's so okay. nice here. It's too bad that they tried to drown my dog and eat me. Daru, come on back. I won't eat your dog. They just want don't Kratar. Believe you. They just want Kratar. Come on. I'm sorry. And we continue to run, and I, I, as we're running, I'm kind of uh, talking to Lockwood, and I'm like, maybe we could bring Daru into the cult, and then just just throw Kratar to the wind. Yeah, no, that sounds good. But quick bit of advice: don't call it a cult. The mayor will. Uh, so well, well, well. We're 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 just talking. We're just talking here, you know. <laughs> quick, quick pre-cult discussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. It's not a cult. It's a family. Right. Come it's on. a family. <laughs> quick, quick it's cult a... huddle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's Makari still? I am doing? so going to use that. That's true, Makari. We we got to know where you're moving in on this. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what? I, I, I'm toying with these two twins. Did you say they were, uh, they, they had a little wire between them that mm -hmm. was that like a cheese cutter with which to cut lock, um, <laughs> Qatar in half, or was it something that they, they use to keep together? Uh, I'll let your imagination run wild for concerning Cause, that. Cause I, I'm, I'm thinking I want to see what happens when the cheese wire is cut and they are separated. Ooh. So I'm going mm. to try in the dark. Admittedly, it's the dark. Give me modifiers if you like, but I will um, try and cut that with my short sword. Excellent. I would say roll presence. You're trying to perceive where that wire is. It's going to be easy to cut once you do it. But okay, does my stealthy bonus uh, yes count for this one? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, however, oh, 14. 14, That's good. Ooh. Yeah. 14 minus 130 in total. <laughs> you, uh, you feel the wire um, and you cut it. Um, the first thing you hear after that are two kind of like crackling, cackling, small infants uh, in the room. This little... <laughs> in the pitter-patter of little feet... That's weird. Hold on. Daru should have turned into a baby. It sounds like these ones have actually turned into a baby. Um, where are the pitter patter of tiny feet going? Uh, it's hard to say. You hear it above you, below you, um, through veils you can only imagine. Hmm. When the others opened the door, it didn't get any light in here. Obviously, correct. Yeah, it's just it sucked off place. the 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 light on the first or the second floor completely. 
I'm going to try and grab one of the babies. <laughs> Excellent. Go ahead and Again, roll strength. Strength. <laughs> uh, strength, is it? Plus mm -hmm. one, 11. All right. You grab a, a small, wet, uh, and kind of slimy form. Uh, and just for dramatic purposes, I'm going to say that the light finally uh, gets unsucked. Uh, so much like a clogged toilet, everything just starts to ripple out the light, its colors, filling the space and overflowing. Uh, as you look, as you're gazing at what you're holding onto, it's like this tiny humanoid creature with a bulbous kind of uh, black and blue head with no eye sockets. Its limbs uh. are several meters in length, so it's almost like this spider arm and leg uh. kind of like dangling in front of you, like... <laughs> Does it sound unwell? Is it dying? <laughs> uh, hopefully. <laughs> Can I help it along? Can I hold it in one hand? You this can. is not a baby. I would have killed a no. baby anyway because I'm that sort of gutter boy. <laughs> but I would definitely kill this thing because it yeah. looks like a spider. And yeah, spiders it's are like it's this evil. weird thing. And like you, you notice where in the hand where that little string is is kind of like this long tube of meat that's just kind of like flipping ah. around with this milky fluid dripping from it. The big question, though, is where is the other one? Yes, that's that's what I'm beginning to ask. Yeah, so go ahead and roll initiative for me. <laughs> <laughs> and just remind me, what are the dice that we roll? For? Uh, just roll a d6 and we'll figure yeah. out if, the, if you guys go first or Three. the enemy. All right, that is the enemy. So, my good friend Makari, go ahead and roll defense, which is your agility. With my agility. <laughs> oh, that's not good. For uh, seven. Oh, yeah, that is not good at all. You feel a pressure in the back of your head. Several mm. little tiny fingers are starting mm. to crawl over your forehead, and you can kind of see it the little fingers start to try to dig into your eye. Uh, but ah. that pressure in the back of your head continues to grow, and you take seven damage. Seven damage. Did I recover anything from uh, the previous yeah. damage I've taken? Yeah, we'll, we'll say, go ahead and roll a d4 to see how much you recover. Oh, that will be a really interesting d4. <laughs> I recover four. Yes. <laughs> so where are you at? So uh, I I and now I'm at zero. <laughs> uh, that didn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, roll a d4 since you are broken. Let's see what happens. And I am a four again. <laughs> so I I'm gonna let you be as creative as you want. How do you die? Well, I don't die. Obviously, uh, I I am taken by this creature. <laughs> It peels my forehead back, replaces my brain with its thing, and uh, kind of seals itself within me. And from that point on, I am a smiling and happy villager. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh. I will give you the choice, Makara. You can continue playing your happy and wonderful villager, or you can choose another character. Nah! Nah, I'm going to go for my second character. Yeah! So I like this one because of his name. His name is Erm. Erm? Ooh. Erm? <laughs> what is that, uh, Holman? And... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is a, an occult herb master, but uh, we'll work out where he is a bit later on. Excellent. I mean, I, I feel like a good time to introduce this. This wily character is bursting from the forest, mm -hmm. uh, probably chased by some weird uh, dark creature. Uh, and you immediately see uh, Kratar in uh, Daru having a ah, good old yes. time. Well, I would be in this. This is, the, this is a slightly more pleasant forest than the one that kills you, isn't it? <laughs> and I am a herb master, so I am 
uh, d d d d picking flowers and various herbs for my concoctions, <laughs> and um, I see these two running towards me. A fellow herb master. <laughs> <laughs> I, herb are, it up. Uh, are Ervorg and, and Lockfoot still like running behind us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Can can I take a second and and uh, take out my sling and try to throw rocks at them? Try to sl sling a rock at uh, uh, Ervorg. Oh, please, please stop and turn around and sling a rock at me. Go ahead. <laughs> All Do <right>. it. <laughs> We're gonna go into initiative. Oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> Oh uh, man, yeah, 1d6 uh is all you need. Uh so Doug, oh, you... Okay, 4. All right. So, I'm going to say Doug's team goes first with that beautiful thing. Okay. okay. Am I on a team? I'm not even that... sure what I'm doing out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't know, you could just go last or you could pick a team. Okay. No, I'll go last. <laughs> I'll see how this Jacob. goes. And see how it goes. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm running full full speed. I stop, take out my sling, start swinging around, and then I just chuck it towards Urvarg to, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so Urvarg, go ahead and roll defense. <laughs> A five. <laughs> <laughs> how much damage, Kratar? Right, let's see here. Uh, D4 damage, so let's see here. Two. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, two. You get clocked in the head. Oh, Wait, buddy. Rock. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout, Stay away from me, <clears throat> Ervarg. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you done messed up now. I, I throw the rope back at lock, Lockfoot, and then... Uh, as I do, as I'm running up with my short sword already in my hand, I'm going to, like... <laughs> uh, do a line just right on your sword. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I get two attacks on him. Ooh. Slice him up, slice him up. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to let uh, Kratar do the defense rolls, uh, and we'll just do okay. the, the normal test. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a that's a five. <laughs> All right. How about for the second attack? That's a five. <laughs> <laughs> or a four. Get your cheese. All right. Out. Here we go. So a total of five damage. <laughs> okay, that, that puts me down to zero. All right, make a broken okay. test. Uh, that's a one. Ooh, you fall unconscious for... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I also have uh, an ability called Dodging Death, where I have a 50-50 chance where I survive, and then I just uh, I come back with D4 uh, HP. Nice. With, an, right. with, an un, with an unlikely exponent explanation of how I escaped the situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, uh, 50 50 will do a d4, one, two, I survive, three, four, I don't. That's a three. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're just unconscious for some amount of rounds, Doug. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm just uh, unconscious for two rounds. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what? So I, I feel like we're out of combat. Let me know if okay. anyone... Uh, Unless Deiru well, decides to act at this point upon seeing these, these events unfold. <laughs> Deiru, they're going to do the same thing to you. Uh, lock, I'm, lock still mad at Ir up. Irvork, I'm still mad at Irvork for trying to eat my dog. That's completely legit. <laughs> are you going to attack him? Or are you... Uh, uh, Irv, uh, yes, Daru. I haven't... No, I have an evil scroll I'm going to read because you oh, Jesus. my dog. <laughs> oh. I have an I have an unclean scroll I'm going to break out. Uh the creature suffocates for D6 rounds. You're the oh. creature, Ervarg. <laughs> oh man. 
Six rounds. Oh. <laughs> you lose D4 HP per round. That's what you get for drowning my dog. <laughs> oh, yes. Trying to turn me into soup. All right, so Qatar is on the ground. <laughs> He'll be fine. You won't be. Lockfoot comes running up, finally turning the corner, breathing heavily. And he goes, I just tossed the scroll over my shoulder like, what? I have no idea. He's lying on the ground. Something's wrong. Oh, man, I, I never get to baby brain anyone. <laughs> I, oh, see, the mayors he's never going to leave me alone if I if I can't bring him new townspeople to focus on. <laughs> and uh, I go over and I poke Kratar. <laughs> are you alive? Can you be brained or, or are you already done? I don't I don't respond. Oh, the nerve arc is choking out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. I, and yep. you have uh, Erm here too. An Erm. Yep. Erm is here. Erm's here. Um, what, Minding his own it? business. <laughs> He's like, maybe if I. I mean, I would away. offer my help, but I'm not entirely sure I should be offering my help too. Uh, listen, our, our, uh, this is this is all kind of become a whole ordeal, and I didn't mean to step into your domain here, uh, good herbalist. In fact, actually, our town is just about to be down an herbalist, if you would like to join us. <laughs> you have a position available. We do, actually, well, any moment now. <laughs> Stand over her, Mark. <laughs> just give it a few. <laughs> We, we oh, could. Is, it, is 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 he a herbalist such as I am? Well, he claimed to be, though he seemed to be more of a, a substance fanatic. He did claim that he used to be well the sole survivor of some great adventure, and soon enough he'll not be. Mm, yeah. By the looks of it, anyway. <laughs> I, I may be able to save his life. Uh, let me have a look at my. Uh, Oh, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> mm, well, I, I can't quite remember what concoctions I brewed, so oh, I, I just have to roll them randomly. <laughs> uh, give me a moment. Let me let find this one. This, this one, the... Uh, this one is the... Uh, this... Oh, yes. This could be Fernor's filter. I could save his life by dabbing this in his eye. Right in his eye. Um, has he got an infection? Not so no, far as no, I know. He, he no, appears to be suffocating to death. Do. It's a terrible way to die. Yeah, <laughs> let, me, uh, um, let me just say, no, that's the wrong sort of stuff in type four. Uh, uh, no, Josh yes, is losing a, a, a four every round for six rounds, by the way. Uh, this one heals yeah. six hit points. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll do a. Um... I mean, I have no idea what a hit point is. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> it's something you hit. Uh, <laughs> Irvork, why don't you? Because you will be broken. Why don't you go ahead and roll a d4, and we'll see what can happen for you. A uh, one. Yeah, yeah, you just roll all. You're unconscious. All right, I'm I'm taking a nap. <clears throat> ah, seem. <laughs> It's quite powerful stuff. I haven't even applied it yet, but he I'm, seems to be entirely cured. I <laughs> am quickly running out of options here. Listen, Deiru, uh, new choice. We get rid of Qatar and Urvark for good, and then we go back to the town. And I will have brought the mayor what he's looking for, and everyone will be happy. What is the mayor looking for? More people for some reason. Oh, but... Kratar didn't want to stay. Kratar, by the way, you'd probably be stirring at this point. Yeah, right? you'd probably like, oh, what happened? I got hit with a sword. <laughs> oh, <I'll> be... <coughs> oh, what's... <sighs> so, <laughs> bit of an ultimatum. Either we get rid of these two, or you get brained. 
Ooh, I don't like the no. sound of that. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying not to get brained myself. <laughs> let me, let me, mm. let me just ask you. Uh, uh, what's your name, young man? Lockfoot. Lockfoot. Yes, and um, you, you, you don't look very well dressed. Um, but you are some distance from this town, you fear, and this mayor who is going to brain you. So why not just leave the town? Leave the town? Leave the town. I have a... a I mean, I have never been to the town. I can see the town over there. I have never felt the need to go to the town. Yeah, you see like you a You apparently don't want to leave. Woman just like waving. The yeah, distance. there's a wife or something as far as I can remember. Though a you wife. do... Why do you have a wife there? She's a captive, is she? Uh, well, uh... Or, uh, uh... Figment of my imagination, maybe. Oh, a figment of your imagination. <laughs> Interesting. Listen, you seem like a smart fellow. If you can figure out a way to get us all out of here, then, then we could survive. Uh, otherwise, some of us are going to get brained and some of us aren't, and I don't intend for it to be me. Why don't we leave Ervog and let them have him? <laughs> well, he did seem to fit rather well, honestly. Mm, mm hmm He was already trying to eat me and my dog. Now let me let me let me propose a hypothesis here. Uh, how many extra people did the mayor want, Mister uh, Lockford? <gasps> well, Mr. I figured Coda? if I. No, not necessarily. He, you know, he's always looking for new members of the family. And I figured if I could, you know, get him another one or two interesting looking fellows, uh, then he would leave me alone for the time being. And I wouldn't get baby brained, which so I've heard is kind of a problem in the area. As of late. <laughs> baby brained. <laughs> mm, baby baby brained. I'm not sure I'm aware of that. Type. <laughs> Let's change the title of the scenario <laughs> to baby brain. <laughs> baby brain. <laughs> <Baby brained. laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, uh, or fork. I feel like you should be awake about now. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you know. <laughs> oh, Daru, you want to read scrolls? I got a scroll too. Can, can I reach down and oh. punch him in the head? I don't read out? any <laughs> scrolls. <laughs> you want to punch me? Go ahead. I got something for you too. Go ahead, I both of you. I got a scroll in one hand and a vial in the other hand. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Come on. I didn't do any Which such thing. You, you must have first? hallucinated after one of your substances. You were just substances. inhaling some strange powder, and then you started ranting hysterically, and you fell unconscious. What? I think you had what? a bad batch. What are, what are you talking about? <laughs> there, I, I don't do any substances. You what? do, though. Very about many. But I don't. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, 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 I think that you need to uh, head back to the town now. The mayor wanted to see you. Oh, I got a headache. Oh, yes, you, you know, I, I think if you go back to the town and rest, let the mayor know you're there and that you're going to stay for the night. You, you know, that's, that's actually not a bad idea. Hmm. It's a very good idea. I, I kind of like that. You know what? Hmm? Here, you can have this. And I'll uncork oh. the vial and hand it to her. Okay. Uh, so what this, is it? When, when I hand it to you, it kind of like this vapor goes up into your face. And I like uh, the way this you, is starting. Oh, is this Southern Fox stew? Oh yeah, th that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> oh yes. You no, you need to make a test. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes. Plus uh, a D four test. I'm guessing on toughness. D4 my D4. yeah, probably. My job here as GM is done. Oh. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> you guys let me know <laughs> what happens at the end of this when we're done. <laughs> when we're done murdering each other. So <laughs> 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 Your job is uh, not done. Tell me what I'm wrong. <laughs> so it says uh, just pass a DR14 test. Yeah, probably oh, toughness okay. makes sense. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, toughness. I'm bad at that. I got a nine. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Uh, so for three hours, you suffer hallucinations. <laughs> and I, I, I trot off laughing. Oh, boy. Oh, Zezubiel's vapor. I know he'd be thinking it was something from you, but they're very similar in their makeup and composition. Very interesting. I'll, I'll start trotting off to the village. What if, in theory, Matthew's prior character <laughs> <laughs> arrives as to give us uh, uh, some final combat for our scenario here? <laughs> Wait, are we? We're not even halfway done. We're no still way. going. Holy moly! Oh Jesus! Alrighty. <laughs> Yeah, this I is, got, oh like, my goodness! I need another character to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buckle up, man! <laughs> For real. All right, so you guys are heading back to the town with Daru seeing all sorts of horrific things. You almost see like uh, little people blossoming up like flowers from the ground and kind of waving at you. Uh, your puppy continues to talk to you about the moral. Um, uh, kind of like this moral uh, argument concerning killing random people and why it's justified. Right. What? You were I'm such a little dog. I don't understand. I've never actually seen a subject actually ingest a whole file before. <sighs> <sighs> the people, they keep coming up out around. They're so pretty. And then they wilt. Uh, I, I introduced myself to Ergvorg as well, who I fear was terribly poorly represented when you first arrived on the scene. <laughs> uh, you are obviously a man of letters, of learning, such as myself. Uh, which university did you study at, Mr. Ergvorg? Oh, I, I studied at the Shadow King's uh, mains. Oh, the Shadow King's knees. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. I can't remember quite where I studied that because I can't remember. Um, I can't remember very much. Ah, um, yes. So you're you're an herbalist too. How long have you been out in the field? Uh, out in the field? I've been in the field for quite a long time. Yes. Can you see the length of my beard? Uh, my beard's very long. Um uh, you know the way one is at college, one takes all sorts of illicit substances. And then I woke up and um, my hair was white and my beard was long and uh, some sort of lifetime had happened. Mm. So how did you come? I remember my name. The how did you come to be here? Um, well, my memory fails me at that point as well, but... Uh, I study and I collect plants and I make potions and I sell the potions and um, I have enough to live on. More than enough. I have some small savings even. Oh, you're just... going to do quite well here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, let's go to town. I'll buy you a pie. We'll sit down and eat and we'll have a little chat. Oh, very well, very well. Let's, uh, let us eat a pie and... Uh, I'm sure I won't. Um, uh, I'll I'll even buy. I'll pay for it. Excellent, excellent. And something for my dog as well. Oh Ruff, Ruff. yes, absolutely. Excellent. He's small, but he's very vicious. Does he like face? Does he like face? <laughs> excellent. All right, we'll probably get you some of that too. I presume that Qatar or Qatar is not willingly making his way back into town. Oh no, I'm 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 standing there and I'm watching them go back. <laughs> oh, then you're you're at short sword point from Lockfoot as he <laughs> makes his way forward. He'll go, uh, come on, you troublemaker! You got to answer for your crimes. What's my crime? <laughs> <laughs> Disloyalty to the family's word. I didn't want to take a bath. That's my crime. Everyone has to follow the rules. <laughs> Even me. <clears throat> yeah. Listen, we go through with the whole voting process. We'll make it right quick. And then you'll be part of the family. One way or another. 
Sorry about the baby brain threat. It's not not <laughs> something that happens that often. <laughs> All right, so I'll I'll, reluctant, <laughs> I'll reluctantly go back into town. Mm-hmm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mitch is like, yay, they're back on track now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's going to kill them all. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> all right. So the whole merry gang returns back to this lovely group of town folk who are waving the triumphant hero Lockfoot uh, returning, uh, his wife and children waving, uh, especially enthusiastic. From the edge of the crowd. Um, um, I'm pretty sure I've never been here before. When you say returns back. I mean, <laughs> uh, obviously, <laughs> or I must maybe be experiencing uh, Jeru's hallucinations here because I can hear this voice narrating <laughs> the journey. But, uh, but I assure you, it's my first time, at least in my memory. My memory not being quite what it should be. Which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, Daru, your your little puppers has been kind of pointing at the various uh, people. Why? Um, well, Daru. You need to tell me. Seems yes. we're at a crossroads here. This may very well be your grave, but I think now is your your time to decide whether it's now or later. What do you mean? Can you scratch behind my ears, what? please? <laughs> oh, sure. Excellent. Yes. What do we, what like. do, we do? How do we? How do we get out of here? How do we? I don't want to die right now. Good, good. Then smile. People like it. Everyone must smile. You see. There we go. Am I doing it? <laughs> You are doing it. Very lovely. You'll fit in perfectly here. Okay. There may be one day when your hand may pet the newcomers as well. Okay. I don't think I understand. And everybody seems to have too many arms that they're waving with right now. (laughs) I think I did something to me. Yes, you see... What we often see as two arms is actually a multitude of arms, just in several veils. It's kind of like watching a clothed pig strung up and hung. Okay. (laughs) But I'll keep smiling if that will keep them from killing me right now. It will. You can't bury a smiling body. It's impossible. I didn't. I didn't know that. (laughs) <laughs> I see Daru is is gaining all sorts of new wisdom <laughs> <laughs> from her experience here. Uh, Lockfoot, however, will get caught up in the smiling and waving and uh, prance about the crowd excitedly, uh, you know, exclaiming his, his hero ship for the town. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I will introduce my new friend uh, to the mayor. And say, uh, yeah, we're uh, just invited him back into town. He's an herbalist, uh, you know, collecting things. And like me, wants to brew brew up some potions and, you know, make a living. And, uh, you know, uh, we're looking to get some of those wonderful pies and sit down and, and chat. Excellent. Well, the pies will be coming, but we have one matter left, and thank you, Lockfoot, for bringing Kratar back. Kratar, you have thought that the truth of yourself is that you do not need a bath and that you do not smell. We will be taking a vote to see if this truth, well, is truth. Do you submit to this so it looks like I don't have any choice. There's always a choice. There's lots of choices. Choose. Fine. Excellent. Now, before everyone today, 
We will all smell Qatar to see if Qatar is indeed disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Those who deem Qatar is indeed disgusting will raise your hands and ca- keep them raised until everyone has voted. Please, everyone. Uh, and yeah, Qatar, you're smelled by like 40 people. <laughs> you can see the screen like start to, to fizzle and, and the haze. <laughs> so right here and now. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh man. Can that be the intro for VCG? <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be it that's a highlight right there for everyone. yeah right yeah. Oh. all right so everyone here and those watching feel free to wave your hands to see if qatar is deemed stinky put your hands down <laughs> this right. this is the way it was always gonna go on my part quite offensive <laughs> yeah i I somewhat misplaced my sense of smell some time ago, which makes being an herbalist a little bit difficult. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure you want my vote anyway. I'm not really a citizen of this town. So vote. I'll, I'll not abstain? No, that is not possible. Well, I, with all due apologies to you, Qatar, we've only just met. I don't really feel it's... Um, it's polite to comment on your body odor at a first meeting, but I feel I must raise my hand with the others. <laughs> All right. Qatar, it is truth. You do, in fact, stink. <laughs> with that truth <laughs> presented before you, do you contradict it? I think I smell fine. Excellent. See? I see. I smell... <clears throat> Smell fine. All right. Uh, Qatar, give me a defense test. That's a six. All right. You take eight damage. Oh, I'm done. But I still have my. uh, Oh, you have a 50%. Yeah, I have a 50%. How did he take the eight damage? What did we see? Yeah. So what you see, it's very hard to see, but there, there's almost like this glimmer of a very thin wire moving through the air between two of the kids, and it just kind of goes through uh, Kratar, um, and then we'll see what happens. It goes, it goes right through, wait, which part of me? Well, wait, let's wait uh, until you've rolled your dice. Cause you, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're dead, then it'll be dead. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Oh no. All right, roll I, I, a uh, d4. I want to let's see what happens. That's a 4. <laughs> All right, Qatar. Go ahead and explain what happens as this razor wire uh destroys you. Um I think it just just kind of uh they 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 hold up their arms. What you said it's like it's attached to their their what their hands? Yeah, these two little kids, almost like a jump rope. Okay. Um, they, they come walking by, running by with their hands raised and like this razor wire just takes off my, my head clean, cleanly. And like, all of a sudden you just, you see the, for a second there, I stay like upright and it, I don't look and I like kind of look, I kind of, I kind of just like look around with my eyes and then I, you can <laughs> kind of see my head try to like move to the side to kind of look and like, it just falls off, it like, falls forward and then. <laughs> My my the the lower half of me from from the neck down just crumples to the ground. Lockfoot goes woo! <laughs> <laughs> there is much rejoicing, and the little ones rip off uh, Katar's face, and it is ceremoniously placed upon Lockfoot's wife, who now has a face. <laughs> woo! <I> mean... <laughs> Finally, move it up in the world. <laughs> oh, that's disconcerting. Oh, jeez. That's very disconcerting. S- oh, don't oh. worry, Daru. You're still hallucinating. You didn't see what real. 
<laughs> no, she probably oh, saw something okay. worse. Okay. <laughs> no, she just thinks that's guitar. <laughs> <laughs> You're married to Kritar now. That's what happened as far yeah, as I'm yeah. concerned. Yes. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. I got to grab some coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've gotten to this conclusive point. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> All right, Grin. Uh, your new character. I, I think it would be kind of good for him to be in this crowd right here. Having come to this village. Uh Mostly as everyone else, uh, but what's your response to seeing this insanity? Um, so a grin uh, is—he's uh, a fang deserter, and he—he uh, he just uh, kind of smiles and like kind of growls and, and kind of shows his teeth, and kind of, but he's still not quite sure how he feels about this. But he's just playing along because he doesn't want to get sliced and he doesn't want his he doesn't want to be baby brained and he also does not want his head chopped <laughs> off so he's just eh, 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 eh. And no and one wants how he to got be baby brained <laughs> yeah um, yeah i feel like i want that quote to come up in every game i'm in now right baby brained <laughs> So yeah, I just uh, that's that's what I, I I'm just kind of in the crowd cheering yeah. could, this this on, but I'm really not quite sure could, how I feel. Could about I it. cut off the uh, fingers of the uh, corpse? Oh, and of uh, to to both the dogs that are in the group, I will offer them a finger and then pocket the rest for later. Very kind mm-hmm. of you. My dog hasn't eaten for weeks. Well, he has oh, wonderful! Movie. I I've got some extras just in case. No, I got a pack of ten. Uh, don't don't worry, Daru. We'll we'll fatten up that dog. Hmm. Yeah, the dog looks towards you, Daru. I'm kind of on a diet right now, but I guess today can be my cheat day. <laughs> Keep an eye out for him. I don't trust him. I have the ability to scry from afar. I have no doubt with my abilities. I will watch them from afar. Hmm. No, don't trust him for a second. Don't ever be alone with him. I will do my best, Daru. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, my I dog, just... on the other hand, goes, Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So yeah, we'll we'll jump a couple of hours. Uh, for some reason, it, it never seems to get dark, even though you start to feel sleepy. You guys have been through a lot. Um, mm-hmm. the The crowd has dissipated. You guys are back in the tavern, uh, relaxing here um, with this uh, woman, continuing to push around the meat and gravy. There are several candles lit up. It's a nice smell of lavender. Uh, tell is me it, they got grog. It... Mm. Oh yeah, of course. So, so grog and pie. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I did because I did promise Erm that I would buy him uh, pie. So here, you, here you go, buddy. Um, oh yes, I remember now. You did promise you would buy me a pie. Uh, right yes. Now. Thank you very much. Here's one for you, one for me, and uh, here I got a little another little treat for your dog. Yep. yep. I'm sure you and he will be the best of friends. Oh, Daru. it's a good dog. Daru? It's several hours later, am I still hallucinating or am I done with that for now? You are uh, done. You have. You are done. Yeah, you've been through a mystical journey. You have fought the good fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Satan now stands before you. Now we're just back to the regular terror. Enemy. Exactly. Uh, and this this meat pie has a little bit of kind of this black hair on the top of it, almost like what you would feel underneath someone's chin. Uh, the skin of it is flaky yet soft. Um, skin? Skin? Mm. This pie has skin instead of crust? The, what? The meat. What? Tomato, tomato. What? Wait, what? Uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, yes, flaky, delicious pie skin. Yeah. Hey, who cares? As long as it tastes good. And 
I'm slightly hairy. Eh. I, I will. Uh, I will go to town on this and chase it down with some grog. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. I'm. I'm this gonna... is the best pie I have ever eaten. Oh, this is grin. And as, as it's getting all up in my beard and stuff, and you know, ah, oh, don't worry about that. I'll save that for later. Oh, mm. so, oh, so, this is grin. I'm, I'm hold, uh, lock hold, foot. I have, I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. You've both been here for a while, right? I've been here for a short amount of time, just long enough to get a wife and kids. <laughs> what about you, Grin? I I just stumbled here the other day, and I and so, I'm just tr I'm just trying to just trying to fit in because I I went through that forest and I just barely survived and I I don't know anywhere else to go. What I'm gonna tell you, every day is pretty much the same here. But as far as I'm when concerned. Does it but when does it become night? It seems to have been here for a long time and it's not dark out. Oh, the sun's hmm. still setting. Takes a long is time it? to set here. Is it? It seems like it should be dark by now. You haven't touched your pie, Deiru. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just kind of hold the pie up to my face and I... I try to like nibble it as I'm watching everybody else like I'm like I'm not <laughs> sure if I should but I just want to fit in I just I just yeah. oh dig in guys dig in this is fantastic oh uh, I'll, I'll take another over here oh excellent <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I've had an elegant sufficiency I'm, I'm intrigued by what Deru said about it never being night time um I will make some notes. It's, doesn't it seem like it should be after that? I'm so tired. I feel like I've been here for days already. What are the uh, other townsfolk up to? I mean, looking out the window, you see your wife and kids waiting for you to be done with your tavern <laughs> enjoyment. You see Qatar is standing out there, yeah. staring at you. Yeah, Qatar is looking at you, your beautiful <laughs> wife, Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything's as it should be. Does her nose still run in the way that Qatar's nose? I, I was. Ran? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, please, please tell me yes. <laughs> she spits on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? But unlike Kratar, she doesn't wipe it on the back of her hand, so it just sort of trickles down. It just, just falls down to the ground. Someday my kids will get faces too. Someday. You got to earn those around here. Hmm. It's a very strange society we're living in here. <laughs> very strange. The barmaid uh, comes over and looks over at Grin. Is anything a matter? I'm, 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 no, it's fine. I'm, I'm. Thank you for your hasp hospitality. Oh, the first lick is always the best. Go on, stick your tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pull it out. There we go. All right, now, <laughs> now move it across the crust skin. Yes? <laughs> yes. There you go. There you go. Now, the best way is to use your tongue to have a little <laughs> hole, right? Make the hole with your tongue. <laughs> go on, Grin. That's all right. <laughs> go on. Yep. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There, there it is. All right, now put your, yep, yep, take a breather, take a breather. Don't want to choke yourself out. All right. Now, put your lips on top of this hole, yeah? Oh, my God. Go on, Grin. Put your lips on the hole. You just want to slurp it down. All right? Just put your lips on the hole and slurp it down. That's how you eat the pie, yeah? You see that... Lockfoot has developed this. I don't know what's going on in the show anymore. Eye twitch. 
I'm making you eat pie, Doug. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so good. There you go. That's how you eat it. Good boy. Uh, <laughs> is everyone else enjoying their pie? Oh, it's I'm fantastic. <laughs> delightful. Thank you. Yep. I am quite complete, however. Erm, <laughs> er, er, I think, I is, need, is fine. I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, your rooms are prepared for you. Obviously, it's hard to sleep with the light still on. Uh, but we do does have small light... moments of <laughs> darkness. Does, does, does the light not go away here? Yeah. It does come off every now and then, only for a bit of seconds. And I assure you, you want to be in your room during those times. <laughs> but the pies do help. Oh, okay. Next uh, time. Could, could I get a pie instead of a mint on my pillow? Hmm. I've never thought about that. Pocket-sized pies. You'd probably need pocket-sized people to do that. <laughs> Interesting. I might know of where some pocket-sized people lived. Oh, well, that's hmm. always of interest. You seem, Urvug, that you are going to be, at one point in time, definitely on the council of this town. Really? A political career, I see for you, yes? Ah, uh, you must be a mystic. I dabble. Wonderful. All right, well, it's been an adventurous day. I think it's time to get some rest. What do y'all say? Oh, foot, your wife and kids will be in your room about now. Uh, right. Yes, rest. Rest <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, yeah, let's let's make our way to the rooms. And as we go upstairs, I look to Irvarg and I go, <laughs> You better not get any ideas of moving your way up in this town. <laughs> <laughs> Just Just like, for my wife. <laughs> the Locked barmaid like, might I was say here first. <laughs> barmaid might say you have a future here, but I know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if I get in, then uh, maybe I have so little bowl to uh, help you out there, Lockfoot. Yeah, we'll see about that. I say as I close the door. <laughs> All right, I go, I go to bed, stretch yeah, out. I go, I go to bed as well. Uh, I after I go to my room, I actually want to leave again. All right. I don't want to stay in there. I I just want to get out of this building and away from other people as far as I can. I don't like to sleep near other people. Mm. So Lockfoot, you you see him enter in his wife Kratar waving from inside the room as, as well as his two children who immediately cuddle up with him. Uh, he's in for a wonderful night. Uh, <sighs> Urgvorg uh, comes into his room, and there are uh, two faceless men uh, awaiting him. For the rest of you, your rooms are empty. Mm, the sheets are clean, I expect. The bed they is are. comfortable. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like this uh, well-tanned leather. Well, I shall, uh, first of all, spend some time examining the plants that I collected today to see what tomorrow's potions might be. And then I shall uh, settle into my bed. Excellent. And tomorrow's potions will be uh, spider owl soup <laughs> and uh, red poison. Mm. Ooh. Fun. Right. I, I, would, I would like to go out back outside mm -hmm. uh, with my dog uh, and find whatever buildings seem to be the farthest away from ones where people stay, like whether it's a, a stable or like a mill, just somewhere, or a, a grain silo, anything, somewhere where there are not 
other people sleeping nearby. Yeah. It's hard to tell because every building is alike except for the tavern, which really is much alike as the other. It's just two stories. But you do see mm -hmm. that there is one little hut that is on the edge of the forest, just kind of right there. Small hut. Sounds good. Me and my dog are going to the small hut. Excellent. You approach it. Um, the lights are off, uh, but it's still, of course, daylight. Right. Uh, I'll, is the door locked if I pull on it? Is it open? Of course not. Okay. So if I pull open the door, what is inside? Looking on the other side, you notice that there is the mayor, tall and lengthy, but he's sitting on a chair, totally slumped over it like this. Um, there is a meat pie before him, uh, kind of cut into a smiley face, uh, as well as a drink. It still looks hot, the drink, that is. The fireplace is going, uh, but there doesn't seem to be heat coming from it. I'm going to close that door and step back. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to find a tree that I can get into to sleep. Away from no this trees. little little hut. hut. Wait, I'm on the yeah. edge of a forest. How are there no trees? Yeah. So there's no what? trees what? in the meadow that is safe and beautiful. You can, of course, step into the forest. Oh. If you would like to go into <laughs> the trees. I No, I think that my dog and I will just go to the center of the meadow and just curl up together on the ground <laughs> and try to sleep there. Excellent. Curled up alone outside. But I, I have my dog with me. I'm not alone. This is true. Your dog smiles and licks your face. I know. It'll be all right. We have each other. Excellent. Next time everyone wakes up, um, it is night. It is dark. Yeah, no, I was hoping to see the dusk, but I have missed it, have I? No, oh, if you're staying you if you're staying up, you notice that it just happens. There's no transfer, there's no um kind of calm, it's just it just happens. It is suddenly dark and there are no stars outside. You blink and there is no light. Are my two fellow gentlemen still in the room? Yes, they seem to just be watching you without face. Okay. Good morning, boys. How's it going? Excellent, excellent. Yes, that's ex uh, that's what I expected you to say. And then I will uh, get up, stretch, uh, do my herbal thing, and uh, then I'm going downstairs to find a bit of breakfast. Yeah. You go downstairs and you see the... Uh, the owner of this fine establishment slumped over this pot. Part of her face looks to be burning with this hot gravy. Her face is burning with gravy. Mm -hmm. mm. I like gravy. I'll uh, I'll take my finger and, and rub it on her face to get some of that gravy and, and lick it. Yeah, it tastes delicious. It is it is it very salty? Mm-hmm. I like that mm. packed meat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. And then I had those bits from last night in my beard. So I'll what I'll do is I'll take a piece of that out, and then I'll wipe it on her face, getting a lot of that gravy just soaking it right up in the bit. Yeah. Mm. As you do, you see part of her skin just kind of slop off into the this little tub of, of gravy, part of her jaw, you can see underneath the bone. Ooh. Tasty. Oh, my God. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Meat uh, off the bones, as they say. Exactly. Uh, I will uh, I will ask if she wants some assistance in stirring. She's not moving. She's just slumped against this pot. Oh. Oh, then I will stir it. And uh, I will... I will adjust the heat fairly, just because I, I, you know, don't want it to burn, just just to a simmer. Yeah, excellent. How about Grin, Lockfoot, and Erm as you guys come down? Who knows? Uh, well, I'm hearing uh, uh, Ervog 
making noise and greeting people. So I'm coming down to breakfast, but I'm somewhat puzzled by the sight here. And also <laughs> by Ervog's distinct lack of curiosity, except obviously he's of an Epicurean bent. But um, this is just plain weird. <laughs> it seems we're the only people that actually sleep. Uh, this is better than Southern Frog Stew, let me tell you. Uh, would, would you like some breakfast, uh, Erm? Um, it's night time now, and, um, um, from what I remember, there doesn't one sleep in the night time and, uh, eat breakfast, break the fast at the beginning of the day? Uh, well... When I wake up, I have breakfast. So mm. day, night, evening, afternoon. You can have breakfast at any time. I like a good it's, old, um, uh, yeah. Our landlady here seems to be um, almost melting into the stew pot. Oh, oh, don't, don't worry about that. She, she explained everything in, when we got here that uh, you can't have a good stew unless you put some of yourself into it. And she's just... You know, adding that love and that that flavor. Here, come on, you got to try this. You and I, we're we're, we're gentlemen of science. We distill yes. all sorts of uh, botanicals and ingredients mm -hmm. into our into our liquids to create our wonderful potions. But this, pointing at the woman with the burning face in the gravy, this seems to me. Mm, I'm going to hesitate to say it, but I. Feel it seems to me unnatural, magical even. Unnatural. Hmm. I don't, Cursed. I don't, Cursed. No, oh, oh. Speaking of herbs, ah, and I take out some of those flowers. And I, this would be perfect in it. This would be great. And I'll, I'll, uh, you know, tear them apart bits and and sprinkle that in there, and uh, stir that up and. Uh, get that on a simmer and I'll sit and I'll think about what Irma is saying. So, so you think that, uh, her face melting is, is magical effect. Well, is it, is it natural? Is the question I want to ask you. She doesn't recoil in pain. What, uh, what is your pain. definition of natural? Well, obviously the, my definition of natural is pain and suffering which we which we all face until the world ends as the two-headed basilisk has told us uh she seems to be quite uh, comfortable in this position and a comfort unearned so uh, i would um i would wonder even whether she is um uh, what's the term human I wonder mm. if there's some sort of test one can make, a uh, dissection, maybe. Ooh, that's a fun idea. Shall we lay her out on one of the tables? Uh, yeah, if you have a sharp bladed instrument, I'm afraid I was, um, I did used to have a beautiful scalpel, but I um, mislaid it somewhere. All I have is this club. Oh, well, I have my short sword. I, I mean, we can just use the tip. If it's sharp, yes, yes. Shall we uh, wake the others and bring them down to be uh, witnesses to the experiment? Yes, go ahead. Uh, why don't you wake them and I'll lay her out and uh, get everything set up. So I uh, go to Lockfoot's and to Grin's room and also to Deru's because I don't think I have any suspicion that she did not sleep here. I can't find Deru, though. I'll I'll I'm wake guessing. up. Uh, I'll wake up uh, as soon as Erm comes to my door, and and I'll go with Erm because. You know. And well, I I will explain in great and uh, loquacious detail about uh, the um, the curious happening downstairs. It feels to me not natural, and um, in fact, when I when I explain to Lockfoot the situation, I would wonder whether he's seen such a thing before. Can't hear you, Ian. Not personally. When I first met that woman, she told me some interesting things. Like, 
you're gonna settle down here for a little, and then you're gonna meet a family, and then I'm gonna die. And that's kind of where the predictions ended. So I'm not entirely certain uh, if she was on top of things with that. You're, you're intending to dissect her to ter determine if she's human? I don't think anything around here is particularly human. <laughs> mm, yes, you see, I do think that in this world, that which is not human is generally, um, well... Unfortunately, probably that which we will all descend into. But is it not uh, is it not our duty to fight against the inevitable end of the world and uh, our souls being claimed by oh, whichever deity it is will take our evil souls? Listen, I mean, I don't think about those sorts of things. All I think about is surviving to the next day and, and maybe, you know, making it home. But, Speaking but, as a philosopher, I just wonder whether we might find in this uh, examination some some clue as to the nature of this town, which may free you from the curse of your two faceless children. I, well, that would be nice, right? They need faces. But like I said when I first met you, Aaron, you seem an intelligent guy, so I'll, I'll trust what you're doing. Excellent, excellent. And Grin, uh, you the same. I, I wouldn't want to do anything that was against your um, medical ethics. No, I, I totally. I'm, I'm right on board, right along with you. Excellent. Then Ervog, you can make the cut. Okay, I'll begin to uh, perform an autopsy and open this uh, woman up. Excellent. You slice into it. There's no blood uh, that leaks out of it. Instead, it's almost like popping a balloon as air escapes from it, and the rest of her body just kind of peels down into this, like, skin. Skin and hair is all that's left. Fascinating. Hmm. Well, it appears, Erm, your... Uh observations are quite correct yes uh, the, the, you're, you're 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 closer than i am uh, uh do you suppose the the gas that held this body's form uh is it uh intestinal hmm. take, uh, bend lower take a whiff of it and uh see if you can work out its uh composition as it were okay i will uh i will definitely Get in as close as I can and just... Excellent. Go ahead and roll uh, toughness. Okay. <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, you take three damage. Uh, and it's almost like sniffing uh, acid as you feel something crawling into you. Uh, and messing Ooh. around. It's still in there, but it's just it hasn't really gained a hold as of yet. Okay. Uh, <coughs> it smells worse than that other guy. Oh, and it burns. <coughs> so, not human, I would suggest. When you say burn, would you say acrid or um, of a high temperature? Uh, definitely acrid. Acrid, <laughs> very well, very well. Acrid. Like science. Mm. Th this is your process? <laughs> yes. <coughs> what? Science, my man. I'm sure somebody of your low education wouldn't quite understand. But through investigation, hypothesis, and proof of hypothesis, we shall find the answer that will prolong our lives in this uh, accursed village. Oh, I need something for my throat. I think I'm gonna, gonna take a swallow of that gravy. Mm. Yes, by all means, my man. It'll be nice and thick and coat it. So uh. I will uh, go over, chug some of the gravy to coat my throat. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, and we're gonna head on over to Daru, who you know wakes up in this nighttime, and you notice that there are several shapes which are kind of slumped around you, as if you've been encircled. Um, 
Hello. There's no answer. Hello, strange shapes. Oh, what do they just? Can I not make them out in the dark? Or am I am I making out any features if I start trying yeah, to look at them? Yeah, as you as you look at them, you they're definitely townspeople, uh, just kind of standing, but kind of slumped over a little bit. They're not moving though. But they 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 got here at some point. Um, I'm gonna pick up my dog and step. And then I'm just gonna kind of try to sidle between two of them. Mm-hmm. Do they do they react when I try to scoot past them? They don't. They're just okay. Just little sentinels. And I'm gonna just walk away from them. I'm just gonna back back away slowly, keeping my eyes on them until I'm uh, like on the other side of the meadow. I don't want to be out open, just not yeah. next to them anymore. <laughs> and then I'm gonna like hunch back down and and wrap up my cloak, my little dog, and try to try to lie down and close my eyes again. Okay, this is just, it must be the after effects of that weird hallucinatory stuff. It's, it's, it's fine. It's nothing. Yeah. You hear the little pitter-patter of feet. Hmm. Mm. Uh, what do I see if I open my eyes again? What do I see if I open my eyes again? A little bit closer this time by the slumped over figures. Okay, I think I'm done sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my dog, get up, and walk back into the bench. Excellent. Make a defense roll. Oh, oh boy. Is that that's just a d20? Is that just a d20? Is that agility test? Uh, unless you have something. Uh, Agility. Okay. Yeah. Um, no. no. Seventeen, though. Ooh, yeah, you're fine. You notice that some of them every now and then uh, will react in a manner that's almost like watching a little puppet on strings race across the meadow, uh, running up to you. But you <laughs> get them. You, you get out of there. The only light in the <laughs> town looks to be coming from the tavern. I will go there. I will go there post haste. Yeah, which you kind of looking through the window, you see Irvark sniffing a dead body, uh, coughing, and the other is kind of interested in this whole process. <laughs> hmm. ha. Um. I'm gonna go in. Like, so is everyone just done sleeping? Is the night over now? I'm confused about time I right now. I think we're all confused, my dear. I, the night seemed to uh, switch on as though uh, someone had cast a blanket over the um, over the cage that holds the world. It was not a natural task. And then it seems that all the townsfolk hereabouts, apart from uh, the, the, the five of us, it seems, although I have not done a proper survey, uh, they, they slumped where they sat or stood into a slumber, where this, um, this uh, our, our dear landlady fell with her head into the soup and... Uh, as you can see from the uh, contusions and the uh, the blistering around her face, it was hot soup, and it just burned her. So, so I suggested that Ervog make a dissection, an examination of it. Well, and uh, it seems that there is nothing inside her apart from a somewhat noxious gas. That's yeah, about yeah. as far oh. as we have got with our um, investigations. Some of the villagers are still moving. 
they had encircled me out in the field and I left and then they followed me. Maybe that's just the sleeping field. No, that's unlikely. But I'll tell you one thing. It's pretty incredible the amount that you can learn from one dead bar woman. <laughs> you can Have see you Lockwood leaning into anything? the process now. Huh? Have you actually learned anything from the unfortunate landlady? I've learned... Yeah. Don't sniff her. <laughs> I've learned what a contusion no, is. And I've learned that I've caused many a contusion in my time. <laughs> uh, Erm just keeps spouting out stuff that might or might not be useful. It seems like it takes him some time to confirm his hypotheses. Oh. Oh. Grin, how are you holding up? I'm just trying to figure out what y'all are doing. I, uh, I'm doing all right, I guess. I just want to fit in. You know, honestly, I have a feeling that the whole they just slump down at nighttime thing may be a little more opportune than anything that we might learn from dissecting this woman. Like, you know, not to make any particular suggestions about where my intentions lie, but maybe if we wait until the evening and find the mayor, we can escape this place. Uh, well, um, there are two considerations to bear in mind. One, obviously, is a moral and ethical consideration that I don't think we have particular time to unpack at this point. The other one is night isn't something we have to wait for. It is night time now. If we go to the mayoral um, mansion or uh, house, I do not know which it is, we may find the mayor slumped there already. Right. In a very vulnerable position. Yes, indeed. I <laughs> must say that uh, uh, Madam <laughs> Landlady here did not um, attempt to defend herself in any way from the... Uh, shall we say, the processes of our scientific discovery. That's kind of convenient. The only issue is we don't know where the mayor is. <laughs> you, you've been in town the longest and you don't know where oh, the mayor oh, lives. lives? No, I know, where, I know where the mayor is. I found him when I was trying to get to sleep. Right. <laughs> you, you found him? He's in him? a little shack. Yes, he's in a little shack on the edge of the meadow. I can lead you there. And and then ah. there's just a bunch of... You said there were town folks in the meadow, the, the meadow? They were just sort of standing around me. I don't know if they'll still be there or if they will have skied off. Hmm. Well, now's the time to strike because honestly, my wife's face is starting to slough off and I'm not into it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he was into it when it was Qatar, but now it's Qatar <laughs> weird. Eh, that does sound disconcerting. Yes. Let's go and cut open the mare and see what happens. Yes, you must. You must be careful, Ervog, though, to to ensure that you breathe in uh, a good lungful of that air to, to compare it with your experience this time. Hmm. I, I yes, you're you're probably right. You're probably absolutely right. Uh Daru, are you hungry? I'm fine right now. Thank you. I had lots of pie earlier. Oh um, gosh, the pie. I'm gonna miss that pie. Uh I, I'm just thinking of my notes here and um Something about your observations, uh, young lady Daru. Uh, you said that the mayor was slumped in a shack by the end of the forest. Yes. But a mayor surely would have one of the best houses in the village. Are That's you sure thought, yeah. your observations were correct? No. I was hallucinating rather significantly earlier. Hmm. Mm. But mm. I do feel it bears investigation. Investigation? Ah, ah, investigation. Investigation is what we are all best at. Uh, except for Grin over there. I don't know what he's best at. 
grinning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically all I do. I just grin. I have lots of teeth. Grin and bear it. That's right. Well, um, lead the way, Daru. Uh, we shall follow you, for you know where from you came, and we, none of us, can go ahead of you. All right, I will, I will. So I lead the way back out into the meadow and toward the little shack where last I saw it. And it is still dark as we uh, look up it into is. the sky in the outside. Mm-hmm. And the village is empty as you approach this little hut. Okay. So is there anyone out in the meadow still, or did they all leave? They're all gone. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, when we reach the little hut, he was just in here, just just sitting, and I'm going to open the door again. We all peer inside. And? Uh, you see um, the mayor. Uh, but he's moving a little bit. His mouth is placed upon uh, the face of something uh, with this slurping sound. Uh, the uh-huh. humanoid figure starts to go slack. It's inside. It's kind of just gone. Uh, this empty slack of skin that falls to the ground. And the mayor turns to you a little bit of this milky substance dribbling from its his lips mm. take a seat mm. is, it, uh, is there uh, enough uh, room to but I don't think this was quite the situation that you described is, is there enough room to sit <laughs> next to the mayor changed or a little uh, there's one chair across from him okay I'll sit down I love your little town, Mayor. Thank you. We love you, Ogvog. It is uh, phenomenal. Your pies are delicious. Uh, We did have some concerns and questions, if you wouldn't mind answering them for us. It's really no answer. Not here in the dark. In the light, there might be answers, but in this moment, if you truly want to be a part of this city, I think it's time for us to move forward. You as well, Lockfoot. Place your lips upon mine. <laughs> go ahead, Lockfoot. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, tentatively begin approaching. <laughs> <laughs> I will cross my legs, sit back, and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch the show. <laughs> His uh, long fingers move towards your face, Lockfoot. I'll uh, permit him so far as that goes. And then as he moves in, I will reach for my short sword and uh, <laughs> lunge it upwards as best I can. <laughs> All right, the opening gambit. Uh, go ahead, Lockfoot, and make that melee attack. Okay. Nat twenty, not lock. Oh, <laughs> That's crazy! Nat crit double R uh, double. All damage. right, with a short sword being a D four. So let's see. Uh, so it's gonna be six damage. Woo! Yeah, nice. it, it, yeah. Your sword sword goes right through his face, and there's like this <laughs> wheezing as his blue. Uh, not blue, this milky substance just card- starts oozing uh, from this wound. Uh, his uh, face kind of extends uh, as long as the blade itself with this long gasping howl. Uh, it feels like he becomes twice the, twice the height that he normally is as he starts shaking his long head with you kind of hanging around like, woo! Uh, (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, let's see. uh, Matthew, why don't you roll the d6 to see which one of you guys goes first? Or if if it's he goes first or you guys? And I get a five. All right. You guys get to go first. Victory is ours. Well, as long as some of you can actually fight, because that's not a sort of thing that I do. (laughs) (laughs) I will uh, continue to sit in the chair and enjoy the show. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> all right. How about Grin, Urm, and Daru? 
I'm, I'm going to hold off on taking my turn and just want to watch what everybody else is doing because I want to fit in. <laughs> I'm going to hit it. I'm, I'm going to hit it with my short sword. I'm not any good at using my short sword, but I'm going to try. All right, go ahead. Because this place is freaking me out. It's fine. It's not fine. Uh, that's going to be a 14. Ooh, that hits. Go ahead and mm. roll damage. Ha ha. All right. Uh, oh, it's a D4 damage. Let's yeah. see. I, oh, I got a four. Ha ha. Excellent. So, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Lockfoot plays his <laughs> final hand here, and everyone's just like, time to see what happens. <laughs> uh, no, I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Dara, like you're, you're, you're Dara, you're covered in this milky substance. Uh, 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 it kind of gets on your lips. Every and it's, it's somewhat sweet. Game, every game. <laughs> if you're not, why covered do I in even blood. come here, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Orm, what are you up to? Um, now, as I say, my um. My strength is uh, relatively minor. I don't have the sort of weapon. I have a club, but uh, it feels rather a blunt instrument for the true, sharp, incisive inquiry of a scientist. So instead, uh, having mixed up some of that red poison last night, mm -hmm. I will uh, attempt to throw a vial of my red poison at this creature. Excellent. Which uh, is at a minus two because my agility is even worse than my strength. But there we go. <laughs> what a fool I was. Um, that's a 14, so it's a 12, which might hit. That does. Excellent. Uh, the, the creature then must take a toughness roll of 12 or suffer 10, 10 hit points of damage. I'm still... Curious as to what a hit point actually is, but uh, <laughs> all the great tests. <laughs> it's what you ate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, it failed, so roll that damage. No, it takes ten. It takes ten hit points. Oh, it just takes the the full ten. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Minus d ten, not ten. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. No. Uh, roll you, it. Oh, of course, I need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I so can roll, but I'm going to roll by one. observing the experiment. <laughs> uh, and that is a ten. Ten. <laughs> I was right the first time. <laughs> wow, incredible. All right, so uh, Urim, you are away from it. Grin, you're away. You're kind of outside, but Urvog, Daru. Locked foot. This thing explodes as as is like wh whatever Erm threw. It kind of has this weird reaction with this whatever this is, and there's this explosion of gas and fire and mm -hmm. like milky substance. Uh, so each one of you guys roll an agility test. Thirteen. Eighteen. No. Eleven. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, <sighs> okay. So, Daru, you take six damage. Every no. Urvog and Lockfoot, you only take three. Oh, no. that's, that's as this all. House of... <laughs> that's all of the damage. The, and All then right. some. Roll a d4, Daru. Let's see what happens to you. I rolled a four. <laughs> how does it? How do you die? I get splattered into a fine mist. However, <laughs> however, my little dog just gets flung free from the eyes. <laughs> yeah, the, you see the little dog go. <laughs> flying through the air and what's left of Daru is yeah this nice fine red mist which some of it gets in your mouth <laughs> I too uh, Lockfoot had a max of 2 HP so he, he too is going down so I roll my broken D4 
and that's going to be a uh, uh, what is that? A one. What's a one? All right. <laughs> you just you fall unconscious. Oh, um, nice. So uh, you fly through the air, smacking your head as you burst through the glass and just <laughs> land in the meadow. Like, uh. <laughs> and uh, apparently all awaken around later. Uh, and with that, Lockfoot picks himself up and goes, that's for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> How about Irvog? Are you okay? I have one hit point left. <laughs> Excellent. So, so I'm still sitting in the chair like, wow, that was fun. Yeah, you just Evoke, blood Evoke, everywhere. While, while the gas is still there, breathe it in. <laughs> no. Quickly <laughs> inhale for science. I mean, it, it, it hurt enough as it was, so I'm sure I've got a whiff of it, and that's probably what did the damage is just inhaling it. And I was like, "Oh, don't worry, I tasted it." At the same <laughs> acrid sense as before. Worse. It's a bit stronger this time. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so something has changed about this whole place uh it is no longer that beautiful place it is nighttime the stars are no longer out in the sky um this whole place is decrepit broken down uh with bodies of skeletons kind of held up on spikes up in the air lockfoot since you are outside you notice this giant spike spider-like creature except, except instead of the normal black limbs of a spider it's really like these long human hands uh with even longer fingers and this i can't tell you how big this is but it's bigger than the meadow and with these long little tendrils at the end of it each has like these weird faces on it gazing down at you with an intense curiosity Oh no! Oh no! And I uh, back into the uh, <laughs> into the hut. Uh, I go. Uh, uh, you, you guys, you, you scientists, you 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 people who are still alive, you got to see this. Yeah, uh, see, I, I I'm just outside the hut, aren't I? In the doorway or something? Mm -hmm, yeah. So kind of looking um, looking up and like, what the? Um. Fascinating. Um, I'm backing into the shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so pretty much with with the insanity of what's above you, every person gets one last line before we close the curtains on this shenanigan land. So, Doug, why don't you go ahead with Grin? I'm just gonna say, uh, all I wanted to do was just fit in. <laughs> and then I guess it goes black for me. Mm -hmm. Daru oh. is a fine mist. Yep. <laughs> my, li my little dog somewhere off in the distance goes, yep, 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 and runs off. Urvog. Uh, anyone hungry? God, I'm famished. <laughs> Lockfoot. Well, it's been a long time coming, but uh, I pull out my short sword and charge out the hut and give a final. This is for my wife! <laughs> I was going to ask if one of the faces looked like Kratar. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it does indeed. Um. I think my last name will be... Um, um, and that's it. <laughs> With Lockfoot chasing off into the distance, trying to find how to attack this huge entity, whatever it is. Uh, and yeah, that was uh, Mork Bork. Uh, <laughs> this is not us, as presented by me. Ooh. Nice, fantastic. <laughs> Thank well you. done. Thank you so much. I'm, I have so many questions. I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you really want to know the answers, I though? I don't think I know. No. Yeah. No. I'm just sad I can't pet Ian anymore. I know. Not... But see, <laughs> coincidentally... You gotta pet Josh now. 
I moved away from that position the moment I fulfilled my promise to the mayor. I really stopped <laughs> being his pet, and then I slide it over legitimately. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, one, one more reminder that uh, let's uh, we, if you would like to pick up a copy of Morkborg, uh, this is a really oh. great book. It won. Uh, Multiple Ennies. Uh, all at, at the Ennies? Con. All of them? Definitely, yeah, it, it, definitely, <laughs> uh, it definitely is, is just a really, really great book. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, as you can tell, it's it's very rules light. Uh, but it definitely, if you like that OSR, uh, you know, death punk feel, this is definitely the book for you. Because uh, I'll tell you, I, I, I wish I could just sit here and just scroll through the pages, but I really want people to pick this up because it, as you look through it, it's just it just uh, uh, just amazing as you're as you're looking through it. It's like it's unlike anything I've ever seen, and it's just uh, there was a lot of love and care that was put into that uh, into that book, and, and it definitely shines through. Um, also, just ma- mention that if you'd like to pick up a copy, go to freeleaguepublishing.com. Uh, use the discount code UKGE, and you'll get 10% off of your purchases. And that, that applies to, to everything in the, in the cart. So uh, so if, feel free to use that for your entire purchase this weekend. Um, I want to thank all of the, uh, the the players and the cast for uh, for, for this session. Um, thank you so much, uh, Mitchell, for running this. Uh, it uh it definitely raises a lot more questions uh, for me uh, about uh, about you, but uh, you know we'll we'll address those at a later date. Uh, I think um, let's just go around uh, one time and and actually I'll talk. To, uh, we'll start with Mitchell and and uh, go around and, and if you all have some something you would like us to plug uh, or something you'd like to plug, uh, feel free to uh, do it now. And uh, Mitchell, I'll let you go right now. Yeah, so that was presented by my mind. That's uh, what I think about oh. on a daily basis. Uh, these wonderful yeah. things. Uh, but yeah, my name is Mitchell. You can find me on the social medias at Penny for a Tail, uh, on the Twitters and the Facebooks and all that other amazing stuff. Uh, I am the C creative director over at Penny for a Tail, who handles marketing as well as the creative direction for uh, many such TTRPGs, uh, Helm Gas, Blackfoot Games, Imagining Games. We have an amazing Imagining Games game coming out called Rest in Peace, which should be on Kickstarter at the end of next month, which if you always imagine what would it would be like to have death as your roommate, uh, then this is a game for you. Shenanigans, dark humor, uh, and just, you know, annoying roommate that is nice. death. Nice. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Very good. Uh, Ian, where can folks find uh, you and in, in all that you do? Our stuff, yeah, you can check us out at freakopolis.com. Uh, freak. And then Opolis, like Metropolis. And uh, that's where you can get a bunch of your cool geeky goods from RPG stuff to board games to trade paperbacks and more. Uh, and uh, definitely super happy to be here and playing this game with you, Doug and Mitchell. That was a uh, super fun session. You have an excellent mind for this game, no doubt. And uh, <laughs> such a surreal, crazy scenario we got dropped <laughs> into. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A lot of fun. Uh, Amanda, what, what about you? Let's... Uh, w- you're, you're, uh, let's, let's tell folks where folks can uh, get more Amanda in their <laughs> internet. Uh, eh? uh, you can check out my webcomic, Age of Night, at ageofnight.com. It's A-G-E-O-F-N-I-G-H-T. You can also find me on Twitter at Age of Night. And I also have a YouTube channel here where I uh, do artwork stuff, too. So you can just find me under Amanda Call. Excellent. And you occasionally come up on, on uh, and VCG. And I do pop up on VCG with some regularity absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> josh how about you well you can always see me here on vcg playing <laughs> amazing rpg actual plays uh but you can also check me out on halloweenville which is a youtube channel and facebook excellent all right matt matthew thank you so much i i, I can't uh, i i can't thank you enough for giving your your time tonight, because I know you're you're six hours ahead of most of us uh, oh, here no. here on the uh, on the east coast of the U S. So thank you so much for 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 being part of this. Uh, please, y- you and you and Dave do an excellent uh, make excellent content. Let's let's plug it uh, really hard for folks that want to uh, get okay, more. Okay, so um, there there I've written instead of my name our podcast address effect with a K. 
podcast.org and you can find links there to effectap.org as well. So we, we produce a regular uh, three weekly podcast about all things uh, Swedish RPGing. Um, we also uh, do a little bit of streaming while lockdown is on. So you can find us if you search YouTube for Effect Podcast. And uh, tomorrow we will be streaming another chapter in the Mercy of the Icons campaign in Coriolis. Um, my uh, playmate Dave has been doing lots of stuff with you, Doug, uh, alien-wise. So look out for those videos too. I can't really think of anything to say. Um, yeah. Um, thank you, Doug, for having us. Oh, and, no, I have thought of another thing sure. to say. That book, that book, Doug, you showed us a Dead Tree version yes. of M Mork, Mork Borja. Yes. Don't get the PDF. <laughs> Don't think, just have the PDF. It's nothing in comparison. The absolutely. book is so cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's definitely... Uh, I don't want to spoil it for folks, but there... As you're thumbing through the the book, it's it's very yeah. Uh, it, you think things. yeah, it's it's just yeah. it's, ama it's an amazing and, and it's amazing and, and you can just tell there's a lot of a lot of care. Uh, a, it looks chaotic, but you know it's a lot of thought and a lot of love was put into that uh, in, into the design and into the layout and everything that and and you look at it and it's everything that you that you're told not to for layout and design, but yet it works and it's just yeah. so amazing speaking and if of somebody you... who's trained in uh, in typography on old letter presses before max um yeah. uh, the, uh, this is designed by a man who knows all the rules and how to break them and because he breaks all the rules but he because he knows them uh, it's wonderful yeah and i i came up with this scenario at 1 a.m drinking coke and like looking at the book and turning it upside down and everything and the moon just hit exactly <laughs> where it was so oh, I, I don't doubt that Angela. experiment with the book. <laughs> trust me it's also, great I'll, I'll mention one more time that uh, that uh, right now there is a kickstarter uh, for, from freely publishing for twilight 2000 uh, the, the fourth, the, this is the, the fourth edition of, of the, that game. Uh, it's doing phenomenally well on Kickstarter. So if you're interested in uh, Twilight 2000 and all the product, and another product line that, that uh, Free League Publishing is, is looking to, to produce, go check that out um, as well. Um, there's still time left on that as of this recording. If not, then you'll be if uh, the Kickstarter is already come and gone, you might be able to hit the uh, backer, the, the the what do they call it, backer kit at the end. Um, after the Kickstarter is over, or if you're watching this well after the fact, you can definitely uh, ask your friendly friendly local game store. As with all the products that, that Free League puts out, ask your friendly local game store to carry them uh, because they are. I, I believe that they're the best. Uh, they're the best quality RPG books in the industry. Um, you know, I just I think they are. They're, they're just uh, they're just phenomenal. All right, Doug, uh, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Or it some, is some of them. I, I will say there's some of the best quality. I won't say that. You know, how about, That's a fair claim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too cocky. But there. I'll are. do another plug on the back yeah. of that as well. We're sure. hoping that our next episode is going to feature an interview with Mark Miller. So we'll find out what Mark Miller thinks about Free League in a week's time. Oh, nice! Jeez. Wow, nice, very cool. All right. I also one more time. Hit the subscribe button down below if you are a fan of Free League Games and you want to see more content. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of more. We've got more uh, events uh, headed your way, so don't uh, make sure to hit that bell icon as well, and you'll be alerted every single time uh, we go live or upload new content. Um, also, hit that like button down below if you're a fan of Mork Borg. And that's going to do it for Virtually Expo 2020. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you to all the players. Thank you for... Everyone that made these streams possible, and uh, I hope you have a, a wonderful evening. Be safe, be well, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye Wash now. your hands, everybody. Wash your hands. <laughs> Find villages. They're amazing.